All right, let's let's start playing. All right, I just want to make sure. Uh, so so when I when I minimize and come back, like okay, we're good. Okay, I just want to make sure. All yeah, right. we'll be fine. We are going to start a brand new campaign and. Uh, All right. So what we need to do is we need to not tell the chat who's playing, and they should have to guess who's playing just by <laughs> seeing. They're going to know that Jake is playing because Jake is the only gamer at all. All right, all right. So I guess the real challenge is to be able to tell when it's between Adam <laughs> and me. Okay. Yes. So uh, we have five difficulties. I've beaten this game on ultra violent. I have tried nightmare, but I haven't really like beaten the game on it. Ultra nightmare. Ultra nightmare is you have one life. That's so. If you die, you have to start the whole game over again. And so so play it as I'm too young to die. Or hurt me plenty. No. <laughs> oh. Hurt me plenty? You into some, like, BDSM? Yeah, I don't know. I got hangers in the bedroom. Yeah. Those are for abortion, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely got some handcuffs lying around, Jim. <laughs> I think they're yours. Yeah, no, they are mine. So, <laughs> so you walk... Eternally there's, through there's the a, shadow realms. There's a slight echo, but it's it's manageable. It's fine. All right. Well, I think uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna be on and off, especially if it's coming from this headset. Yeah. All right. So the the basis of this video game stream is Jake is an amazing video game player. I'm, I'm gonna die in the first five seconds. I'm a. This game's hard. I'm a pretty yeah. average video game player, and uh, <laughs> Adam don't uh, usually play Adam, games. Adam, not so much at all. So it, this would be an interesting. Oh, look at the muscles! Yeah, he's he's dope. He's dope. Says I Jake. love I love dude. Oh, he just punched him. Oh, he's only, he doesn't have an eye. Yeah, the, yeah, he is the Doom Slayer, and they are just the people that don't have eyes. And his name is Doom Guy. His name is Doom Guy. And these you guys can turn the heads. game volume up a little bit, Jake. Okay, I just don't don't do it too much, but fuck you, fuck you. You should nice gun. I'm gonna shove it up my ass. I, is this in continuity with the other Doom games? Yes, this is actually the a direct sequel to the to, original to the Doom. original Doom. And I was like, oh yeah, that's why he's got like scars all over his body, and I'm gonna turn and why he's basically a Frankenstein. It's just yeah, cause Doom he, guy. Yeah, he he is he faced off against the original. Yes. Badasses. Okay. My field of view seemed really low. Huh, it, might, it might just be me. No, no, it's that's 130. Yeah, that's really wide. Man. Yeah, I know. I like it wide. I like my assholes. <laughs> like my assholes. Not his dick, but like my asshole. asshole. You got a chode, Jake? Yeah, it's a really wide chode. Like, we two centimeters up, movies. 30 centimeters wide. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes, there it is. There's my boy. The Doom Guy suit? That's the Doom suit. <sighs> Feel my tits. Mmm, alright. <laughs> alright, we got some freaky, freaky shit going on. So, I gotta tell you, like, this to me is what makes a good game. Are yes. there better games out there with stories and characters yeah. and shit? Fuck yeah. But the, here's the thing that the, the creators of this game understood. They knew what they wanted to do from the get-go. Yes. They knew exactly what they wanted and they made it. And that's awesome. Yeah. They and, like that, and you can tell because that's why it's enjoyable. Because they knew what they were going for and they went with it. Yeah, because that's the whole problem with Doom 3 is because they were going with that horror... Survival horror yeah, the, the vibe, survival like Outlast, horror. but with a lot of guns. And this well, is well, just—I don't think that's a—that's a bad idea. No, it's not. It, it, it works, but Doom is not that. Doom yeah. is was built on the idea of how like original horror style games were, where they were just Welcome. action games with I'm horror Dr. themes. And gets onto my street. <laughs> that's basically what this is. Also, I'm, I'm just gonna—I lowered uh, the volume. <laughs> on my headset, it shouldn't affect the volume in the in the stream. Just check to make sure. Yeah, I'll check right now. So yeah, and I also I I read something or watched something because I did not do any research on this game, but it was said something like yeah, there is fine. more story okay. in this Doom, 
but like once it gets two story uh, involved, like the Doom guy it's will just like, destroy the computer that you're getting background information yeah. on. He's like, no. this game is just a shoot 'em up. Yeah. Like, oh, don't, yeah. don't think it's anything more than that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Doom guy is pure rage. Like, he does not give a fuck. And I love how everything in this game is optional when it comes to plot. It's like, you, you can either be very subtle and, like, take out the nuclear core gently, or you can just rip it out. Yeah. And he chooses to rip it out. Yeah. Because the, the, the Dr. Halsey guy, whatever his name Who's is. Who's played by the guy who voices Shepard from... Oh, really? Yeah, he's... Well, not from Mass Effect, from... Um, Oh no no no! Who's the guy that speaks to you in the in the ear, who says, "Now we need you to do this." Yeah, that's uh, I don't remember his name in the game. It's been a year since Chief, I played you're this. Too good at this stuff. I've already gotten hit like three times. I just the how to be good at this game is move fast, never stop shooting. I agree. We only have nine bullets. Uh, well, that's also the great the great thing about Doom that they um Six that they made bullets. sure. They made sure to do fuck. <laughs> I you shot. Just look at it. What is that? Your body parts are all over yeah. the place. All right, I shot uh, the red canister. I saw that you blew up. Jim? But... What? You want to play? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. How do I play? You. It's like Call of Duty, except uh, there is no reload because you never run out of magazine bullets. How do I do the melee thing? Uh. Is it B? I, I don't know. I never. That's why I didn't want to play on controller because I don't know the controls. I to continue. Suck. A is jump. A is jump. No, that's crouch. Uh, okay. Is it Call of Duty? Oh, okay. Whoa. All right. Yeah. So, um, if uh, you're going the exact wrong way, I know that I'm going the wrong way. It's okay. <laughs> I In Call of Duty, they kill you. What's this? That's uh to charge. <laughs> there is also there is no aim down sights. Like. Fuck. But bam, 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 bam. Yeah, I'm sorry. This basement was designed by a woman that was four foot ten. All right, this guy's gonna get shot in the dick. I've always loved. Ah! <laughs> if you play, if you play oh, Call of Duty yeah. Finest Hour, on Call of Duty Finest Hour, I love the fact that in the Russian campaign, they actually made it so you couldn't walk the wrong way too far because they would shoot you. Your own team would yeah. shoot you and call you a coward. <laughs> and I love that. That, that, uh, that also And fits. it's realistic because that's what the Russians would do as well. Yeah, that, that fits into like the whole like, you know, that's something the Russians would do. So that the Russians the are fucked mechanics. up. Oh, you got infinite ammo for this gun? Why yeah. did you tell me that, Jake? I'm because over here like sucks. trying to get headshots and all this, that. Alright, now go rip the heart out of the beast. Watch out! Right. Later in the game, you get a double jump, and then, uh, you know, that's also a great thing about this game. It's like the old style, like, shoot 'em ups where yeah. you ha you can carry, like, 60 guns. Fuck, get out of here. Oh, yeah, imps can uh, teleport in and out, and they throw fireballs, so. Switch your shotgun, man. Ah! I'm, I'm just trying to get used to the controls, Jake. Jake, oh, yes, in oh, order oh. for you to see it live, you have to be on my... Uh, on Twitch, you have to be on my um, my actual page. Oh, okay. Bam, bitch. Well, I'm still getting uh, the comments. I don't. I. Bam, I'll check it out, bitch. After Jim uh, Bam, dies or bitch, yeah, beats this section. You only have 12, 12 bullets left, Jim. I see that. I'm okay. I need to eat my din dins. Okay, so uh, you pick up blue. Blue is health. Oh. You pick up uh, like green. In yellow, that's like ammo. You or bitch. red. Red was ammo. I thought red was ammo. Oh, I died. Uh, I think ammo comes in multiple colors because it, it points yeah. out which Give gun. It to Jake. Let me do something real Jake quick. Jake booster. You want me to go? Okay. Well, it's I died. Yeah. So Jim, how was your first? Uh, <laughs> this is Doom exactly experience. how the demo went, except <laughs> I got like. Halfway through it, and I couldn't. I just couldn't get through the rest of it. Well, I, and well, the, I'm not. And I'm ladies and gentlemen, let, let's make it clear that I was trying. Jake's not trying. He shot a canister and blew up. I, I just yeah, yeah. I, I sabotage myself me. so I can watch you fail. <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, look at that! See. Although I don't think that shooting the canister was intentional. Yeah. No, I I'm a little rusty because it's been like years since I played Doom. And you mean a year? It's been a year, a one year. month. It's been one year. 
a year, one month, and 17 days to be exact. Oh, headshot. Any more news from chat? Uh, no. No? Um... It's super fun to go all Texas Chainsaw Massacre in this game. Oh, it totally is. Yes. Haven't unlocked the Andrew chainsaw yet. Andrew as Kanza. The chainsaw is great because uh, how the mechanics work in this game, they don't really make sense in like a, lo a real standpoint. But in a gameplay, a mechanic standpoint, it makes sense. Like when you're out of ammo, that's when you're going to pull out the chainsaw and start like destroying people. And when you kill people with the chainsaw, that's how you get more ammo. And when you shoot an enemy and just weaken them, they turn those colors, and that's to get a brutality kill. And the brutality kill gives you more health, which makes perfect sense in context of the game. Yes, in context of the game, but not no other game though. Yeah. yeah but that's why I, I like. Now, is there a difference between blue and red? When blue they is out die? of range. Blue is out of range, and uh, no, yeah, blue is out of range, and yellow is you're in range. So you. There, you get a perk later in the game that you can just do it from almost any range. Ah! So you just teleport halfway across the map to punch this motherfucker in the face. Or I feel like that's what it was in the demo, and I overused it, and like, that's why I couldn't get past oh. it. Because I wasn't caring about actually hitting my target when I was just shooting. But I feel like that's why I was dying <laughs> I thought, well, it's, Doom's just, it's its a weird game to play if you're not, like, used to this idea of just running gunning. Like, I've had people play, like, I i had, like, my friend Jordan play it, I had my friend Rich play it, and they just do this. They just look around, fire, fire. It was, like, in the opening room, they just, like, shoot, 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 that's not and how then you're they die. Play. Yeah, you're not, this is how you're supposed to play. You're supposed to run around. This is, like, this is, like, the child of Unreal Tournament. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever played that. That is one of my favorite tournament, like, shoot 'em up. Stop. Stop. Who's. <laughs> stop what? Oh. Who's sitting on the controller? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim. I fucking love this part. Oh, he fucking loves this part, guys. That looks like Halo. Yeah, the Halo suit is pretty much a ripoff of the Doom suit. Yeah. Yeah, this is the guy. Yeah, it's Samuel Hayden. So he, he voices Shepard? In um, Modern Warfare 2. Oh. Colonel Shepard. Oh my god, oh. yes! He's also in Mass Effect. He, he, play, he does Admiral Hackett. Oh shit. I fucking love Shepard from Modern Warfare 2. Oh my god, that twist. I didn't yeah. see it coming. Really? Yeah, I should have. Yeah, that's, that's... In Modern Warfare 2? Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that coming. Wow. I didn't. What? I didn't, and I should have as soon as he said. Uh, this is right where the demo started, and I couldn't get past this. Yeah, well, the, yeah, because yeah, that you, that's just the tutorial. Like after after this, this is the real game. I feel like when I jump down, I always lost health, and that's why I couldn't get through. No, you don't lose health when you jump down. I feel like I did. But yeah, back to what you were saying. Uh, yeah, like. Shepherd. I didn't see it coming. It, was, it wasn't until my second playthrough that I caught on to all the foreshadows. Yeah. History was written by the victor. Yeah, as soon as he says it, I'm like, oh my god, he's totally gonna... Yeah. Because I fucking... I love that speech. Because he's, because he's also right. He's so right, yeah. Because it's all about, like, whoever wins gets to tell the story of what happened. What's... And even the... if you lose, it's still, like, if you're still around, you know, you could tell people, you know, your version oh. of the events. Oh, oh. No, you no sucking your. Mm. <laughs> I love the great A commentary. <laughs> oh, the gore is what oh, makes the, the gore game. in this game is amazing. If it didn't have the gore, it wouldn't be a good game. Let's face it. If it didn't I, have all the brutality, it would not be a good. Well, game. that's what makes Doom. That's Doom. what makes it. It's like Wolfenstein. Good. Yeah. What did you guys think of the new Wolfenstein? Didn't play it. You didn't play it? I, I liked no. it. It was all right. You know, it was weird. Um, cause this and uh. Doom were in like the same category because they're made by the same people, and it's yeah. also re it's also remakes or sequels of like the original first person shooters, and well, everyone Doom was loving it. first person shooter. Yeah, well, yeah. Wolfenstein was the first, but Doom was the solidification. I just thought it was interesting because IGN has always gone always give like re their reviews a boost because they're greedy assholes and they're idiots, but for both Doom and Wolfenstein: The Order. They gave it lower end reviews, and I, w I always just thought that was interesting. Like, why? 
would you do that? <laughs> like, because these ga those two games are fucking perfect for different reasons. Like, this game is the sequel to Doom, the perfect Doom game, and Wolfenstein was very story-based. Yeah, I got the blue card. Here we go. Secret number one. What's that? Oh, it's Lightyear. I love this. Oh, uh, there's one that looks exactly like him, and he gives it a fist bump. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's adorable. I wish they came in like... Uh, is that a grenade? Yeah, those are grenades. That is the coolest looking grenade I've ever seen. What? And it's a recharge, so you have infinite grenades? Yeah, there's a lot of infinites in this game, because it's just like, pistol and grenades, like, you don't need anything else, like... So, wants... like, um, you know what? How I look at Doom, ladies and gentlemen, is how I look at Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim is a dumb, dumb movie. If you really look at it, oh, it makes no sense at all. <laughs> but it's so much fun, and the filmmakers knew it was dumb, and went with it. That's exactly what Doom is. The, what the, what this particular version of Doom is. While the original Doom was more like, oh, let's play with the technology and see what we uh, can do. Yeah, it was like, we have no idea how this technology works because if we're early video game makers, let's see what we can do to make this shit work. But this is like, you know, gaming is solidified and they just want to play with the game mechanics and the genre. Yeah. Because it's been a long time since, like, a Doom-like game like this came out. Now, speaking of... Oh. <laughs> speaking of... I forgot Double Jump. You want to play that? Wolfenstein. Speaking of Wolfenstein, I was watching um, Pat the NES Punk, and he was playing Wolfenstein on the SNES, I think it was, and they took out all, all of the Nazi... Uh, memorabilia. I'm trying to think. I know Doom came out on the N64. I don't. I, I don't I'm feel like. Pretty sure it was the SNES. That would be revolutionary because I don't think it any was SNES. Could... It was really bit crushed. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's probably because a swastika is like pretty difficult to do when you only have like two pixels. No, it, it was because Nintendo didn't want to oh, be associated well, yeah. with a guy going around shooting Nazis in the face. Fucking Nintendo. Why not? Shooting Nazis in the face is the most American thing you could ever do. Nintendo is not American. <laughs> what did I'm, you do? I'm hitting A. Uh, standing still is death. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the main purpose of the, the, the message. All the right. Game. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, you're gonna keep walking. That guy looks yeah, you're like just gonna a shoot fun everything style. you see. I'm gonna grab another sprite. I'll be right back. This looks like. Okay. All right. I don't. I don't know where I'm going, ladies and gents. Just wherever enemies are. Now, see, that was also revolutionary in the original Doom too, because the enemies, the dead sprites, stayed where they were, and yeah. that's that's how you could tell if you were backtracking or not, because the the textures all look the same. Like I have no idea where I'm going. I feel I mean, like I... you were here already, but I'm missing something. Um. Do I have to? Yeah, you were here already. So I we went got backwards. To the right, there's a door right there. Ah. There's there is a map, though, so it's like... Oh, oh, I just punched the door open. Yeah, just punch it open. Yeah. Ah! Oh, sorry, ah! I just realized, oh. I just realized, uh, the screen's being cropped. Oh, it is? Yeah. Well, after you kill these enemies, I'll fix it. Like, you see the tip of the gun? Yeah. Ah! I, I, can, I think I might have did something in OBS, ah! so I can fix that. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Lick on these nuts and suck a dick. Alright, so uh, now it should be higher quality for you guys. Sorry about that. Also, you'll be able to see all, all my stats in the in the top right corner. That no one cares about. I don't know. That might fascinate, like, AJ. If he's still watching. Wah! <laughs> What's your GPU? Uh... I have a, uh, oh, oh. actually you can see it right there, I have a uh, Titan X, it has uh, 12 gigabytes of video memory. You have a Titan X? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, I went all out. Yeah, no, Titan X is like, top of the line. Yeah. Like, I had to get a whole new computer to fit it, like, I didn't, I need a, a new power supply, ooh, ooh, I need 34. Uh, no, I don't have a Titan X, I have the one below it. 
Oh, it's a guy. Is it a 1080 or is it um, at 980? 980. 980. Mama Moose good. Uh, Tiny Nex. Uh, is just a 980 on steroids. That's basically what it is. Like, it's oh, it's just heavily expensive. It's a huge card. It's more or less. It's more or less. Like the Titan Z is like double the memory. It's that's just made for like prop, like for yeah, yeah, editing and like rendering like spaceships, like or like I think like those type of graphics cards yeah. are like what they use for the interstellar rendering. Oh really? Like they needed like huge graphics. Well, I know cards. that there's a shot in Godzilla where it took them like 400 and some hours to render the shot. Uh, which Godzilla? Yeah, uh, 2014. I can see that, yeah. There's one shot, it's towards the beginning of the movie, and it took them forever to render. What was the beginning? Uh-oh, yeah. low ammo. It was a jungle shot. Low ammo. Oh, okay, yeah, that was, that, there was probably Damn. just, like, a lot of assets. Yes. It took, like, multiple things to do. Yeah, like, like textures aren't a problem, it's just, like, you can render a big mountain, but it's, like, a forest, like, there's just so much shit going on where it's just trees. You see that door right there? Nope. There's a door at the end of the hall. <laughs> that. Hang <laughs> you. No. This that door is that leads. Cannot be reached. That door leads to oh, the uh, secret reach. room. I made a checkpoint. How do I get in there? Here, Shit. wait. Let me. Uh. There's there's a lever hidden around somewhere. I just don't remember where. Uh. This is where you jumped up. 2016. Secrets. Give me all these secrets. Get the fuck up there! Doom secret. Okay. Oh yeah, I need the classic map locations. Uh... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself, Jim. I am ecstatic of myself. Now look at this, I got 18 he was, he, 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 shoot, he was shooting the guy in the head, and you guys can't see this, but I just like gave Jim. <laughs> <laughs> a nod of approval. <laughs> Good, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> he's dead. Okay, um... Don't... No. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you son of a bitch. I didn't mean to jump off. Okay, so now it's my turn. Uh, this is how to find... And I'm gonna try to find uh, the lever to get us into that room. Uh, it says, uh, get the blue key card, enter the first blue door, then reach the forked path, keep left and jump down to the gap. I think I know what they're talking about. There's a there's a gap in the mall down the street. We can go there and <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jake. Hey, at least I got the checkpoint. Hold on. Well yeah, yeah, you you accomplished something. I don't know what. Keep left and jump down. Cause that's where we were. I jump down, keep, keep left. left. There's a gap somewhere? No, I think that was... No, hold on. Uh... Fucking doom, my dude. That's right, die little fellow. Keep left and jump down. Yeah! Dylan. He's an internet troll. Oh. But he's a good one. Good. Like, I enjoy his trolling. Uh, yeah, I, I know people that are trolls, and I'm just like, you're and wasting... Them. You're wasting a lot of time. But then there's some funny ones. Well, my favorite troll of all time is Milo Yiannopoulos. Oh, well, that's a different type of troll. That's, like, an intellectual troll. <laughs> I think this is what they were talking about, the gap down here. Double tap it. Double tap it? What? No, there's, like, oh, okay, hold on. I remember it now. It was, like, I had to, you have to, like, get, yep, In okay. There. Okay. Yes. Let's see, what does this do? He's just opening it. It takes a lot of strength. There we go. Did you just press E once? Yes. And it took a lot of strength? Is this how to, like... Oh, is that the original Doom? Yeah. yeah, this is OG Doom. Oh my god, that is awesome. Those is... are not OG Doom characters. No, yeah, it's... No, 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 but, but, the, but the texture... This is cool. Yeah, but the textures are OG. Get the fuck out of here. No. AJ, you never played Doom before? I'm shocked. No, 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 no. You're up. I'm up. Now you get to play in the original Doom map, maybe. Yeah, I maybe. I remember where the spot is. I'll get to it. Bum, 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 bum. It's right here. Press E, press E, press E, press E. Faster, 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 faster. 
Oh, we got a weapon upgrade, Jake. What's that? What's a weapon upgrade? Oh, um, uh, did you get a weapon upgrade? Yeah, I got one weapon Hold upgrade. On. Let's upgrade the shotgun. Hey, stop, stop. Jake, oh, is Twitch testing. stuttering that bad, or is that just your computer? YouTube, I don't think. YouTube is, is. YouTube's fine. We'll have to make our own sound effects for the game now. Um, pew, 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 bang, bang. How Christopher Walken here Ow. doing uh, sound effects for Doom and Destiny 2. Okay. How are you? Zow, bang, bang. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> bang, bang, walla, walla, walla. Sing, sing. I want... Sing. I want to see like an SNL video of Christopher Walken in like the sound recording booth doing sound effects for like the next Star Wars. I just movie. sound effects by Christopher Walken. And he's just like, what? I'm here to do the sound effects, and then he just lo loads up, and just like laser sound effects. He's just like ping pong, bow bow, zing zappa, zwing and, and, and then the director's like, that's not how a laser sounds. He's like, that's how a laser sounds to me. To me. <laughs> Have you heard a laser? I heard a laser. <laughs> That's what they sound like. Ugh. See, Jim, you're doing good. Bullshit. What do you mean? You, you haven't died yet. Yet. But you're on 100 health. Your, arm, your armor is up like, pretty good. I mean, you shot that wall pretty nice. I'm gonna shoot your dick pretty nice with my dick uh, I hope juice. Someone, yeah, I hope someone would shoot my dick with their dick, and I'm really glad you were here to be the one to do that, Jim. This guy keeps moving every time I punch him. There you go. Take it in the back. I just broke your back. It's because you stepped on it. Could you turn crack. on the desktop audio one more time, please? Okay. You're not. What? Okay. Uh. This pistol is like if I shot attack at them. But so now you have to get the micro cards for the uh, money transfers because you get an expansion, which is great, and there's a lot to do in the new expansion. But you have to spend millions of in-game currency to unlock the expansion, and then you have to spend millions more on the. You equipment. already lost me like a lot. <laughs> I, I, I told you, I torrented the game, so, like, I don't get, like, any of the new updates. But the, this latest new update gave, like, 15 or 20 brand new planes. They have totally customizable with guns and armor, and it's really cool. But each individual plane is, like, $4 million. Uh-huh. Now, you remember when the game came out, the most expensive car was a $1 million. Yes. And there was two of them. Now... The cheapest cars that come out are million dollars. You're looking at four, five, six, eight, ten million dollars for a car. Sure. I can understand it, uh, a couple million for a plane because that's that's cool. It's a plane. But like, in order to unlock the new side missions and stuff, you have to spend five, ten million dollars. Like when the yachts came out, the expansion pack, it was nine million dollars for the cheapest yacht. And the thing doesn't move. That's without the helicopter on the landing pad. That's basic things. And a couple new missions. It's not worth it. And then you get, every time you do a mission, you get $25,000. So the return in in post is, it's, it's not worth it. Yeah. But the first expansion packs came out, they were amazing. But now it's just too much money. And they're not even going to announce a uh, Grand Theft Auto 6. They're doing Red Dead 2. Yeah. No, what? that's what they're moving forward with. And, and they're saying that Grand Theft Auto 6 is not a, a game designed for this system. It's not. It's not designed for PS4 and Xbox One. It's designed for Xbox 360 and PS3. Wait, GTA 5? Uh, 6, sorry. GTA 6? 5, yes. GTA 5 was not designed for PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah. It was designed for Xbox 360 and PS3. But I just read an article yesterday saying that PS4, the next PS4, or well, PS5, is going to be announced in probably 2019, 2020. Okay. So, Grand Theft Auto 6 isn't even going to be on this system. If they do another Grand Theft Auto, it will be on the next system. Yeah. 
which is why. Just I I'm done. Like I I don't I like I don't care about like most games happening anymore. Like if a good one comes around, I'll get it. But most of the time, I'm just like I don't really like. What do you, What are your thoughts about Star Wars Battlefront Two? So well, fuck, fuck off! Yeah, fuck Star Wars Battlefront. Fuck, you fuck Star Wars. <laughs> No, well, I mean, I, fuck, fuck Star Wars in general now. This game looks amazing. No, I mean... Graphically. I don't care! I mean, like, look at this. And there's a story. I had fun playing Doom! Yeah. And there's a story. <laughs> yeah, which is good. Th Destiny 2 has a story. Doesn't mean a good story. The story's... Destiny, Destiny 2's story was okay. Space it Bane. It was okay. Space Bane? No, yeah, it's just kind like, of. What was... Was this name Ghoul? Cause Gaul. Gaul? Ghoul. Yeah. Angry. I remember watching Angry Joe's review of it, and he, and he said that his, the guy's name was Gary. <laughs> <laughs> the, his servants got, like, a regular name, who, who he ends up killing, which was stupid. No, but it's, I, remember, I remember seeing his review where he makes, like, his big thing where he's just like, My name is Gary. And I'm just like, that's a weird name to call your... It's Gaul. It's Gaul. It's Gaul. I, yes, G H A U L. I remember in the other, in like, like I saw like uh, I I hate everything review the game and they call him in like he calls him Ghoul in in there and in Ghoul, the cutscene. Ghoul, whatever, same thing. And I was just like I I looked up a story. It's just like wow. There's like it it's there. There's a story there, but it just it. But it's not I that expect, kind of game. No, but I but. It's trying to be like an RPG. It, but it's not. Everyone knows that it's a grinding FPS. That's what it is. Yeah, but even grinding games have, have a story, story that drives, drives you to keep grinding. grinding. No. Go the, well. Yeah, I look at Warcraft. Yeah. The reason Warcraft to keep is grinding. a great example of that. I love Warcraft. Well, that's an MMO, isn't that? That's not. Yeah, it's an MMO. Well, yeah. but that's Destiny's a trying to be an MMO too, because at least on and PS4. And failing miserably. They only gave me like two planets. On the first game, oh, five, wasn't it? It was five, yeah. And then this <laughs> one's got areas. five planets too. It's like five areas, yeah. No, it's just like I'm, 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 I'm like I'm happy people are enjoying the game, but the game's not for me, so I'm not buying it. I, I think maybe uh, if it wasn't sixty dollars, I think I would have been more happy. If it was free, I would have been happy because it's like it's trying to be like. I think forty dollars would have been a good price for this game. It's trying to be once you have microtransactions, like yeah, you should lower your price. I had complaints about that with Overwatch, where it's just like it's a game that's all multiplayer, and you're charging me forty dollars for it. Oh, you want to know what game shouldn't have been a full price game? What? Rainbow Six Siege. Oh yeah, that game. Excuse my language. Pissed me off. And like it was supposed Excuse to be your language for that. I never I never played. It was supposed to be a sequel to Rainbow Six Vegas 2, which was an amazing game. Graphically, story, it had split screen co-op. It was amazing. And then this comes out. You get five maps that are smaller than my dick. And his <laughs> dick is small. Yeah, it's real small. And no like, character customization whatsoever. I unlocked every single map and every single character within two hours of gameplay. There was no incentive to keep playing the game. There was no story. That game pissed me off. That should have been a twenty dollar, uh, kind of like uh, that Ground Zero. It speaking, should not have been a full fledged well, game. Speaking of game with no story, do you guys know that they're making an Overwatch movie now on Netflix? What? Well, Overwatch. Well, that's, that's also well, that's that's, that's, that's different because there is a story in Overwatch. It's just not in the game. Yeah. So like, it would make sense if they put the story in other places that they're just refusing to put in the game. Because I adore the universe of Overwatch. Yeah, because that's like a little, at least a little interesting. Like Destiny's story, it can be interesting, but it's just they don't put it, it in the game. It could have been interesting. It could have been awesome. It could have been a great yeah. game. And and the worst, I think the worst part about it is when I play Destiny. I immediately want to turn my PS4 off and go back and play Halo Reach. Yeah. Because... Yeah, that's, that's why I did. It plays just like a Halo game, except for the double jump. And all of the characters look, you know, after going back and playing Halo Reach again recently with my girlfriend, all of the that's characters so are basically the same characters from Halo. You got all those guys with those big ass shields. They're just like the hunters. And yeah. You got the grunts. And that's like one of my problems with just these new video games in general. 
that it's just it doesn't. It's hard to find originality. I think. Is yeah, there's what recycling. It is. There's recycling like storylines and just assets. And this is like look at this like even even though I, I I go by that this is like one of the best games in recent years, it's still just you know it's Doom. You're right. Yeah. It's like it's what Doom should and deserves to be, but. Yeah, but the only reason Doom, why it was made was because it's a recognizable brand. Yeah. But Doom doesn't come out with a game every single year. Yeah, I know. Halo. Destiny's going to start doing that now. Halo's too. on, like, a hiatus. Like, everyone <laughs> fucking hated Halo. I, I, Halo I, 4 I, and Halo 5? I enjoyed... I got four. I enjoyed aspects of 4. Yeah. I got 4. I, I didn't get 5. I haven't seen anything on 5. Oh, 5's horrible. Okay. It, so, well, I like okay, the soundtrack. It's Call of Duty. Oh, well, Halo's the only, like... Uh, like yeah, the soundtrack's the only good part of Halo. Uh, Wait, is that the one where Cartana dies? Four. No, four. That was four? You okay. want to know five? Four was sad. I, I gave it that because I cared about Cortana. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I didn't mind four. I thought no, no, four... No, no, but I, the, granted, I didn't play it. I no, watched Adam, the play Adam, through. Adam, the do, you know, do you know the story of Halo 5? No. No. I don't need to Do you want to know the story of Halo 5? I would love to know yes. the story of, of Halo 5. Cortana's the villain. What? No! Cortana is hot. She can't be the villain. She is. She comes back, and she teaches. Is she red now instead of blue? No. Mm. She's wearing, because they redesigned her, so she's wearing like clothes, and she's wearing like, the fucking uh blue chick from Mass Effect. Like she looks oh, like Edie. Yeah, yeah, she looks like she's wearing that costume. Yeah, because Master Chief is like going rogue because he's like, I need to find Cortana. I need to find Cortana. I know she's alive. Where Did we she? ever see his face, by the way? In if you if you beat if you beat Halo Four on you the you see like a movie, glimpse you see his eyes and you oh I, I unlocked the next uh, classic room by the way yay I love these maps you can see his eyes but that's pretty much it like you never see his face you know what I bet you is making the echo Jake what I bet you it's picking up our mics on the game as if we're playing it online. I don't know where that would be, though. Me neither. We can look it up for later, but yeah, because I, I, I don't, I don't know where that would be. But yeah, that's something we can look into. Because I know we don't have the game audio in the thing. It's fine because people usually aren't here to watch us play a game. They're here to listen to us banter on about shit. Yeah. And we have a lot of shit to banter on. Have any of you played the new Mass Effect Andromeda? No. No, I've... That's I, shit. I was going to try to torrent it. That was shit. I was going to try to torrent it because I was like, I'm not paying for this game with everything I've been hearing about it. Like, like, all right, graphics aside... You graphics are get, bad anyway. You, you couldn't make even a good story. Um, who's sitting on the controller? <laughs> Did it fall over? It fell over. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Like you couldn't even like. No, I know. Like, it's like to me, I, I don't care about graphics. I never did. Graphics is just like a, like it's a, a good it, cinematography. It's like, it's like in a movie. icing on a cake. You yeah. know, it, it's, it's like bonus. yeah. It's like good cinematography in or, a film. or sprinkles on ice cream. Yeah. If you're that kind of person. Yeah. I would say sprinkles on ice cream over icing on cake because you need icing on cakes. Yeah. Do you though? Because I've had some cakes without them and I like them. That's a and muffin. It's just a, a muffin or a brownie. Brownie then. <laughs> Icing on brownies. Oh, yeah. Well, now I want a brownie. Ah, Fuck ah, both of you. <laughs> I know neither ah, of you are into sports yeah. games at all. But I mean, As you've seen from me playing Madden. <laughs> NBA just why 18 we were looks like garbage and people are like raving how good the graphics look. I'm like, just this imagine how the last game like looked. Garbage. No, 17 looked good. 16 was okay, 15 was really good, and now 18 is garbage. And you, you do this whole profile thing. Like when, I'm, when I pick up a game like NBA 2K18 or Madden 2K18 or NHL 2K18, I want to pick it up, I want to play as my favorite players, and just play football or hockey or whatever. I, I don't need no campaign for a, campaign? a basketball game. Yeah, you... Do a career and you have to oh, like, that makes sign sense. on to teams and stuff. 
Like, this is stupid. Yes! Oh, there's your chainsaw. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I fucking love this chainsaw! Yeah! I'm gonna come <laughs> over this chainsaw, I love it I'm so gonna much! Come. <laughs> so now you're gonna get, <laughs> you're gonna get ammo when you get a kill with this. You kill with the chainsaw and ammo pops out of the enemies, yes. I'm gonna come. I'm just gonna go over you here. still get yeah. health? No, you get health from doing the, um... Oh, is this where you rip the thing out? No, yeah, no, that's where I rip my dick out. Uh, yeah! So can you still do a melee kill with Oh, this? what a or, nice dick you have there, con considered melee kills? No, 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 no. Uh, melee kills, when you do that zoom-in thing, oh, they give ammo. you health, yeah. The Asian oh. dick was too small. The black dick was too big. The white dick was just right. And that's what started the Armenian Genocide. <laughs> you get a lot of ammo. <laughs> Kill them all. This is when uh, this is when fast paced Jake is gonna show up and just start running around in circles. Oh, everyone's dead. Hi there. Hi there. Wait, I thought the chainsaw had infinite. No, it runs on gas. Okay, he has the key card, so I have to follow him, and he's gonna go in here because I played this game before, and he's just gonna be like, "You need a key card, not that key card, the other key card." Wait, but in the original, didn't it have unlimited? Uh, I think it did. I don't remember. And well, that, that I was... think in the original, but they turned it into that mechanic. See, it runs on this. It runs on the gas. Hello, door. Open door. So, so it's not like a last resort. No, Running around and if punching you people is a last resort. Yeah, pistol and punching people is your last resort. Because it, if you run out of ammo, like, you can still just keep going and beating the game. Like, it's not I, I bet there's people that have done like speed runs with just the pistol. Oh, absolutely. Uh, be very difficult, especially the bosses. There's bosses too. Yeah, the bot. Some of the boss fights are fucking amazing. People debate about the ending because they don't like that boss fight, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I think it served its purpose. You know what we need to play? Yes. Check's quest. <laughs> One through three, which is a Doom clone. Oh. For. Check cereal. Yeah, I remember. Space Hamster did a video. Oh, I remember. I mean, we could play a bunch of games. Actually, uh, if we ever, uh, because we're still just uh, working around like our setup. Like the reason we're recording at my house today is because we agreed on playing Doom, and we can only play that on my computer because my laptop can't handle it. I actually was at when I was at Lake George this week. I loaded my laptop, and I was just like, let me try. Like, I, I don't care if it looks like shit on my laptop. Like, I can handle that. People are coming for our voices, not for the game. And we're streaming at 720. Yeah. You could downgrade, downgrade the resolution, no, but, too. No, but, dude, like, it wouldn't even start on my laptop. It was just like, you should update your video driver. And I'm like, I did. My laptop's I don't know why. a decent laptop, and what I can't What game was run. this? My, my apologies. Oh, no, no. Doom. I tried playing Doom on, on laptop. my laptop, and it just wouldn't play. What we'll have to do, Jake, too, is... And if we do get bored of Doom, which I doubt we will tonight. Well, we, I mean, we you will get bored if it's just me playing. <laughs> we can sign in to my... I'll play, I'll play the next time. Yeah. Sometime. We can yeah. sign in to my Steam, yet. and I have that Beam and G game, which is that driving game that you saw me play. That's fun, too. And playing that on max resolution would be amazing. And that's something that we can all talk while playing. Yeah. Like, you know, I also have, like, all my other games, like... We can but, yeah, even... you played Beam, beam NG? Shit. Alright, you're up, Adam. Adam. Fuck! Controller. <laughs> I'm talking to Daniel. It's okay. Well, you're gonna talk to Daniel, now it's my turn to talk to Britain, eh? Uh, love from Checkpoint. Yes. We got five people watching us on the tube. Any people watching us on the Switch? No, probably not. Do you have to press A again? This is how you aim, this is how you shoot. Yeah, there's no aim. Yeah, uh, aiming down your sights is just your special. Fuck! Uh, right click to punch. What's right click? The right analog stick. Okay. That's your grenade. Okay. Okay, got it. Got it. Alright. Aha! Oh -hoo. When you use the left trigger, you use your special, which uses more ammo, so you're going to run out of ammo. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Punch, punch. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, I like him when he rips their arm off and then shoots and smacks him with their own arm. Low health. Fuck. Perfect. Where, yeah, where's health? Uh, it's by the doing blue a, stuff. Uh, when, yeah, they're, when they're glowing him, like him, that, punch them. Oh. Oh. So See. when they're glowing blue, that's when I. When, you, yeah. when they're glowing orange, run up and punch them. Blue, you're too far away. Red. Yeah. You can punch glowing them. blues on the ground. That's health. Like to your left, forward. Oh, right there. Yeah. Yes, next to the end. So you're gonna get like three or twenty. Oh, the bigger ones are twenty. All right. What am I supposed to do here? That red glowing ball. You're gonna go up to it and punch it. Yep. The yellow spot. And then more dudes are going to come out. What are, what are they going? The imps run away after they shoot fire. What? So, Jake. Yes. How's things with you? Yeah. I'm good. It's just, um,. I went to Lake George with the family. I drove up there, so uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Fuck. Am I dead? Yeah, yeah you're dead. dead. You can go again. Yeah. You. You, we, you. We skipped your turn a lot. I suggest not aiming and just and just shoot? shooting. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, I, it was it was it was good. But I'm back now, and I'm really happy to be back because <laughs> I'm I missed my home and I missed this computer because I need to there you go, not fine. work on my thesis. Nice. How's your thesis coming along? Uh, the scripts, uh, it's pretty much like halfway done. Like, I mean, the script's done, but it's like in first draft form. Uh, my advisor's happy with the first two halves. It's just the third act she still wants to play around with, because I kind of had it where it was I wanted to come back around to the start of the movie, because the title is never an extreme of consciousness, so I wanted to have that loop. Oh. But I was having a lot of trouble, like having it flow easily and and she was like you yeah don't really that, have that, to. i i know that problem and she was like you don't really have to do that because your main character you already c connect the dots like you don't have to like force this enter this new character that takes him to the beginning of the movie and i'm like okay so now i have to fix this ending and my in my original like because i was sitting in lake george and i was thinking what could i do to make this work so I started going back. I remember, punch, like, punch. people were asking me. Oh, damn, I suck. Yeah, people were asking me, um, you know, what was my inspiration for this, and I, I, I was. Well, what's my... it about? Maybe that would help. Okay, uh, people listening. Yeah. Okay, so my film is called Never Ending of Consciousness. It is an experimentalish type of film, and it is about the personification of consciousness and the uh, troubles that a person has in three parts. <laughs> Act one. It, Act one is about. Uh, the turmoil with yourself. Act two is the turmoil with the outside elements. Act three is about the dangers of isolationism and just separating yourself from humanity. Before, See, is this a feature or is it a short? It was going to be fifteen minutes, and then I wrote forty-five pages. <laughs> yeah, that was my question. How long is it? And I cut like... it down to thirty-six. And so that's still can... going to be like forty minutes, Jay. Yeah, I know. But I told I was telling this to my advisor, where I was just like, I know I want. I said fifteen pages. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm feeling it's going to be forty-five. So either oh. we I film the first third and I can film the rest at a later date. Like that girl, Brittany, who I'm friends with, she's like totally on board and just film whenever and film all of it or just the first part. But if you only do the first part, will that count as your thesis? Yeah. Because it's a 15 minute film and it would be part one of like a, let's say, a mini series. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Okay. Would you have to finish them though? Is what I'm I mean, saying. I don't have to, but I would like to. You, of course, but I'm saying before the semester ends yeah. or year or whatever it is. Yeah. I don't think that that would be necessary if I decide to make it a mini series. But I told her it's either that or I just shorten the shit out of this, in which case I would need your help. And she was like, okay. So I pitched her the entire movie and then she was like, this sounds great. You're going to shoot all of it. And I'm just like, what? And she's like, Jake, you're, you've been going to film school for five years now. I think you can handle this. I'm like, okay. Fuck. So, here, blue thing right there. Yep, yep, yep. So, basically, the film follows this character named Oliver. He is based off of me. I'm not going to pretend and be like a pretentious asshole and say, like, oh, he's like the everyman or whatever. He's, based, he's kind of based off of me. And it's fine. The movie starts out... 
where he was just like you don't see this the backstory Bunch of the scene where he was just in his car fucking screaming because right, he, yeah, he had a very bad day he has a lot of issues the film starts with him going oh at, I know that you know the story you yeah. know this is bit, kind of based off of an actual thing I did so um, the film opens out with him in his car at this nice. park and he leaves the car and he goes out to this park goes to this dock he looks out on the water he turns around he looks back at the park and he whips out his dick no I mean he whips out his <laughs> dick <laughs> and starts oh, fiercely man. masturbating <laughs> I'm not very good at this game yeah New Year's Jim you guys could fit in we're, we're about equal <laughs> Never did I Granted, think I I've, say that. I've only played this on the PlayStation Four. Yeah, no, it's same different. here. Yeah. But anyway, so his uh, so he takes out his notebook and he starts writing in it, and that's the opening title, you know. And then it starts the three act structure of the film. The first act it opens in all of Ollie's room, and Ollie's not the only one there. Buck and Luke are also there. Now they all three of them represent. Um, what is it? Uh, it's Freud's idea of the subconscious, where there's the id, oh, the ego, oh, that's the Freudian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the, there's the id, the ego, and the super ego. Yes, and Ooh. Ollie is there. He is. He actually exists, but Buck and Luke are in his are like figments of his subconscious. Yes. Ollie represents the actual person, which is the ego. I think it's the ego. Uh, I always get ego and super ego mixed up. Super ego is like um, pure, pure logic. Yeah. Your ego is like uh, what, almost like the father figure in you. Like, I shouldn't be doing this. It's like your check, your checkpoint. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's also why I was kind of like fucking around with the ego and the super ego to like show how mentally unstable the character is like the ib is just luke is just repressed rage and he's just quiet and he's just wearing all black he's got a hoodie he's got like paler skin and he's just he talks in like movie loud whispers you know those in the movies where people whisper, oh like, like, like all old, old movie dialogue oh, god what killed me uh the enemy shoot a projectile that kind of just floats there like here i can actually read you some excerpts from... Do it, do it, do it, do it. Like, I'll go to the opening... Uh, not the opening scene, I'll go to part one. Okay, so... Interior, all over... Uh, interior, Ollie's room. Day, 10.30 a.m. Ollie... Alright, okay. right, so Ollie's sitting at the computer, he's... Watching a meme compilation, so I have to actually make my own memes because all memes use copyrighted material, so that's gonna be fun. He's watching a meme compilation because I thought it would be a good jab at how meme culture is fucking stupid and it's all about escapism because it's literally just a distraction from life. So I thought I would just work on that. And Luke is sitting on the couch and he's being all omising, and Buck is behind him watching the meme compilation. And I wanted, and Ollie is like a more like logical person he's very like factual based and more about the truth he's more self of what i want to do that will benefit like the, the true a, a good outcome and buck is all just like emotion and he's all like no that that has to be the id yeah no no uh for me the id was repressed rage where he's just oh, quiet okay. and he's just like like i'll get you'll see when i get into the dialogue like Always watching the meme compilation. He does not want to be there. He's late. Like it's ten thirty. He has a film shoot, and he promised the guy that he would be there at ten. The film shoot starts at ten. Yeah. And it's ten thirty because Buck wanted to watch this meme compilation. So Ollie's just sitting there. He goes, "Why am I watching this, Buck? Because it's funny, Ollie. No, it's not. Why am I watching this, Buck? Shut the fuck up. I need this right now." Another thing plays, and Ollie goes, "I should have left a half an hour ago." Buck, I know, okay? I just I just wanted to relax. This week sucked, Ollie. And now I'm late for Bill's shoot. Buck, no, I'm not. Shut up. He said be there by 10, Ollie. It's 10.30. Buck, time is relative. He said show up around 10. Everything's going to be fine. Luke, no. no. Everything will never be fine. No. He's Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah, he's a... I've got lung cancer. This 
will is <laughs> this is all a waste of time. Ollie, not helping. Buck. Hey, remember that one video I found? Ollie gets up, grabs his backpack, he's about to leave, but Buck quickly jumps on the computer and loads up another video. Wait! Look, I found the video I was talking about. It's the one with the frog. Ollie, I don't care what the video is. I need to leave now. Buck, shit on my nuts. I'll leave in a few minutes. Ollie. Shit on my nuts. Yeah. I love that line. I love that is the greatest line I've ever heard in motion picture history. Shit, shit on my nuts. My nuts. <laughs> oh my god. If there's, shit on my nuts. If there's one thing I could claim to be good at is always coming up with those weird lines in like movies I write like Rich's movie had a lot of problems, but the one shining moment was when my character goes, Dude, don't be the vagina right now. That was my favorite line. Because it's so stupid. Dude, don't be a vagina right now. Not, not even a vagina. Don't be the vagina. Don't be vagina. Like the one clitoris that hangs above the stars that a sailboat sails into. Was I... Was I there when we created that? When you created that? I don't even, yes. That was so long ago. I don't even remember like where that started. Like in what room? I I, I was it Tommy's no, no. shoot. It was Tommy's shoot. Yeah. It was. And we were like, room. we need something to put on the board. And I just drew a sailboat. <laughs> yeah. You drew a sailboat. And I was like, why does that look like a vagina? And then I just. Oh no no, no yeah! You drew like a portal to another dimension, and I was like, that looks like a vagina, and then we just ran with it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we and, then, this... and then I also remember before he got weird, but Tourette's kid. Oh, um, Kevin. Kevin. Uh, he, he was always weird. On on like the board in the background, I put like <laughs> like shit, 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 suck my clit or something <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> sucky, sucky. <laughs> sucky, sucky. Me love you. Long time. But um, oh yeah, that was that was great. That those were the um, oh man, and yeah, he had that like. Are you playing? Or do you want me to play? I'll play, I guess. Oh yeah, I remember he had that like Rich's movie. Jake will get us like, out of this room. <laughs> <We've been> in <laughs> this room. like we we've been horrible. <laughs> we've been in this room for like twenty minutes. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Dad. Broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna smack you with your own arm. I'm gonna fuck you with your own dick. Well, uh, here's what I have a question. I have a question for yes. you, Jake, about your thing. Is it a comedy? Uh, no, it's just there's gonna be comedic moments, especially oh, okay. from Luke's dialogue. Like, there's mostly, uh, mostly um, what I'm getting at with uh, how they behave together is the scene when Ollie goes to the film shoot, and he runs into. Uh, just as a reminder, he's under the impression that he's running late. Like, it's 11 o'clock now, and he was supposed to be there at 10. And it's, ironically, I named the guy Bill, because I'm like, oh, yeah, the film shoot. Uh, who's someone that isn't filming? Bill, yeah, that works. So, um, who, who works at an ice cream store with a real movie? Like, Bill. <laughs> but, um, so what Bill works is, at an ice cream store. But we've never seen them together. Him and the ice cream store. <laughs> Wait, he works I, in an ice cream store in a movie, still too? Love the last episode of You, 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 We Shit on Bill yeah. so horribly. Yeah. Uh, he deserves it. My, my favorite episode is still the... Uh, the second to last one, the one where we went oh, on... Oh, with all the Fast and the Furious. The Fast and Furious ones, that was... Oh, I was on the floor. Back to the hood, and then back to the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's... <laughs> that sounds great. They, 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 there's no, it was back to Earth. There was back to yeah, Earth, because, and there was back to Earth. Because there, there, there's an asteroid that is coming towards the Earth, and so Dwayne the Rock Johnson gets on top of Dominic Toretto's car, and they drive off the biggest ramp ever made. And, and as they... <laughs> As they jump off, the rock jumps off of the car and punches the asteroid, and then they no, have okay. to get back no, to No, 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 guys, you are missing, like, the biggest pun that you could have in this scenario. So a giant asteroid is coming towards Earth. They race it. They, <laughs> they, have, they have an idea. They create, create a giant piece of paper, and they shoot it at the asteroid with the rock on it. And right before the <laughs> asteroid gets caught by the giant piece of paper, the rock looks... 
past the camera towards the asteroid, and to the asteroid he goes, paper "You thought you could rock. just, you thought you could get Earth, but you forgot one thing: paper beats rock." <laughs> but then he's gonna die too. <laughs> well, no, no, because then that would lead into the next one. We're on the playground. And then all of a sudden, and then what they do is they drive around the Earth so fast they travel back, back in time, time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> in which we have now a, a we now have a reboot of Fast and Furious, I'm which means bro. we can do about eighteen more sequels. Jake, so much money can be made. You hear in this universal? <laughs> <laughs> and and there, there was one I don't remember what it was, but the Earth was like oh no that apart. was yeah that was back to Earth back to Earth <laughs> and then and then they they duct, tape duct tape it they duct tape the it Earth the Earth back together and then there's back to Earth which ends with them eventually going back, back in, time, in time which leads to Fast and Furious on the playground. <laughs> so wait, you got another upgrade? What's the new upgrade? Uh, it's grenade launcher. Does that recharge? Yeah. No, all your upgrades recharge. Like, boom. Ho. Oh. oh, God. Oh. oh. Christopher Walken is not happy. <laughs> like, I can't even see how many points I got with all two. my stats. Max. Average two men max. One. Uh, hold on. Uh... All right, when do you get a new gun? Uh, well, we have a chainsaw right now, so when do we... I think that either this level or the next level, we get the machine gun. Machine gun, gun's good. Machine gun's good. Like, uh, once it... Isn't the shotgun, like, supposed to be, like, the best, though? Well, this shotgun's pretty good. The super shoddy is my fucking favorite. Which is supposed to be the barrel. double barrel. It's a double barrel shotgun, and you fire both barrels at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, that's from the original. Oh, speak of the devil. That's like a grenade launcher. It's just a it's just a big machine gun. Heavy assault. It looks like right. a it looks like a nerf gun. It does. A lot of these look like adult nerf guns. Like they all I'm okay with the, that. They all work in the same I, I am seriously okay with that. Oh, who who just says, let me stick my arm in this thing? Doom guy don't give a fuck. Hey, what if he stuck his dick in there? I <laughs> think I mean it heals. Doom guy, Doom guy has enough rage that I bet you he's got bull balls. So he's got, he's got like bull, bull testicles. Balls? Bull balls. Oh, bull. Bull. I thought you were like saying bold. He's got bull balls. <laughs> his, bull, his balls are a bulbous. He's got like giant testicles that I would love to put in my mouth and suck on. Is that, am I am I the only one? Really? Good luck with that. I think I think Jim would highly like agree. if I could just like grab him by the ball sack and go. <laughs> And just like suck on them <laughs> and cradle them. Dude, his his dick child. like slapping me in the face <laughs> like a freaking police baton. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to that? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I think it's time to look up some Rule Thirty Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you say to that? Well, his balls weigh like ten pounds, <laughs> <laughs> and so like you put one in your hand, you're like lifting up on it. You have to use both hands just to lift up his ball yes. sack. You can do a workout with his. You can do a freaking balls. You can work out to his ball sack. I went balls out with my new gym equipment. <laughs> balls out, literally. Speaking of which, I'm in berserk mood right now. Get over here, rip his heart out. That's uh, one-hit punches, right? It's probably because I'm unbelievably sexually frustrated because my roommate hasn't left my room in like a week, <laughs> and I haven't been able to have any privacy to jerk off. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's uh, just like too bad my yeah, roommate lives. Donna if too. I came like right now, <laughs> this entire room would be covered in ectoplasm. I wonder what I, that uh... would sound like. Like, what would the audience <laughs> hear? Just. <laughs> You ever, you ever, like, scrunched, like, an orange or, like, a grapefruit in, like, ever, the sound that it makes? You ever fucked a watermelon? <laughs> you ever, yes. Do you know what the grapefruit technique is? <laughs> <laughs> you like to oh. grapefruit your man? <laughs> oh, You're going to do exactly what you said. You're going to suck his dick. You're going to suck his dick. So you're losing weight while sucking dick. It's a fat burner. It's a fat burner. <laughs> oh, dude, we had, we had so many, like... Like good inside jokes of Five Towns. 
Freaking the making of which way they walked, some of the shenanigans that went on behind the, the scenes. The penis through the <laughs> zipper. I had a lot of questions about that one. We got to know each other really well. We did. We did. I mean, sure, the, you know what? The movie's a piece of shit. It is. It's but the fact that we though. made it That's as true. freshmen and sophomores in college, yeah. and I had fun as a whole. Yeah. Putting it together. And I learned a lot. I can also say that... Oh, there's a hole in that window. You probably jumped through that. You can yeah. fuck it. Yeah, I can fuck it. I also have to say that even, like, compared to, like, stuff in post, like, you guys did a pretty solid job. Because you made, you made a feature, which no one in post made. I still think the feature is really... It's really well written. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's a... For what it is, I think it's fine. I think it's... Decent. You can definitely tell that I wanted some split diopter shots in it, and we just couldn't. Very yeah. much so. And we shot the whole thing on 5Ds, EX3s. No, we didn't even have 5D. It was a 7D, 7D EX3s, T3I. Two camcorder. Two camcorders. There's mine and, and Bill's. Cams. Yeah. It was whatever we could get. Sometimes, that's why, that's why I, I really want to do an audio commentary for the DVD. Sometimes we got we had Tinos, sometimes we had hard Airy, lights. Yeah, hard light with Aries. Sometimes it was, it was natural. Sometimes we didn't have any lights. Yeah. Sometimes we were just like, we had a cup with a piece of celluloid in there, and we just poked a hole in the cup, and we just recorded that. We yeah. Used, we yeah. used your, your lamp a couple times, too, your yeah. bedside lamp. Yeah. Well, we didn't have to worry about... That did, Color that, correcture. Uh, I mean, uh, you, shot because it was all shot yeah. in black and white. Yeah, we didn't have to worry about whether it was daylight. You just had or, to make sure that your tungsten. skin tone was always the same, which is easy enough. Jake. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, just like that. Don't stop. Believe it until you get enough. Ow. Jake, you ain't gonna get no health that way, bud. Aww. Bye. See ya. There's, uh... I'm trying to remember where... There's, like, a secret way to get, uh... This one collectible. I thought it was up there. That's yeah, whatever. Don't stop taking it. And, and I can always switch back to what the, is uh, that? You can switch the attachments on the shotgun? Yeah. On the fly, like just uh, yeah. I want the multi shot. I want the grenade yeah. launcher. Don't you now? Now you see how awesome this game is. Now which one's stronger? Now I always this go with grenade launcher. this is the same exact thing as with uh, uh with home, front. Home, home front, home front. Changing we don't your talk weapons, about home front. <laughs> changing your weapons on the fly. Yeah, but this is a good game. Home front came out first. What's home front? Homefront home is... Uh, it's, a, no, it's, what's the it's America, the game. Red Dawn, the movie. Oh, Except yeah. it's a video game. I you thought... want to talk about a fun movie, it's Red Dawn. Red the Dawn original, the original 84 Red Dawn is It is amazing. a good movie. Freaking John Milius is the guy. There was this documentary on Netflix for a lot in time about him. He was the shit. Him and... Schneer isn't joking when he said if you had me, Kelsch... And John Milius in a room, it would be like the most insane conversation you could ever have. Oh, I don't know. It's just it. like, if Doom Guy had his balls out... I would be lifting weights. <laughs> <laughs> How would you shoot that? The only I'll person with bigger up. balls than, I think, Doom Guy is Ken Kelch. I was going to say, but... <laughs> Knowing one, he probably got... Knowing him, he probably got one shot off. One shot off, yeah. So, he's got, he's or, got or a he giant had to rip, He had to rip one out and eat it while he was serving <laughs> he, in Cambodia. He's got a giant 20-pound ball. <laughs> you know, when you lose one ball, the other ball takes <laughs> on all the responsibility. <laughs> so that's doing garbage and gorgeous that, size. It's that age-old question, would you rather have one coconut testicle or 12 <laughs> eggs? 12 <laughs> eggs. Yo. We'll, we'll propose this question to the audience. All would four you rather, people that are watching. All four people that are watching. Would Yo. you rather have one giant coconut testicle <laughs> or 12... 12 egg size. Egg size. 12 no, egg, egg sized one. No, I wouldn't say egg size. Like, egg size is still like... All right, marble. 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 grapes. Grapes. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, grapes. That's a good one. Maybe a little, like, smaller than grapes, yeah. Because we're talking you, like, you get the point. Which one would you rather have? What would you rather one have? large ball or a bunch of little balls? <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> Your Honestly, choice. You have to. You have to live with the consequences, no matter what. Honestly, I think I dig the idea of having like 
bronchial tube strapped under under my my hellacious cock. <laughs> I like that idea. Oh god! I think I think the weight of all of the coconut on one. Just imagine having like a well, one that like... weighs as much as like a fucking <laughs> as much as Doom guys. As much yeah. as Doom guys. As much as Ken Kelsch's. As no, as much as a, a freaking bowling ball. Like your ball weighs as much as a bowling ball. <laughs> like how could you even function? That'd be a sixteen pound. Imagine teabagging. It's a sixteen-pound ball. Imagine teabagging a, a guy with, with your eight. twenty marble-sized balls, and it just feels like a branch going against your face. Uh, it's, it's gonna feel like a grapevine uh, on their okay. face. Oh, I finally died. Uh, you lost the play. Uh, I'll keep going. I mean, we can always restart the Steam with a uh, stream with a different game. That's the thing. If we end up, uh, <laughs> Nick Jackson's pissed. Why is he pissed? <laughs> because I pissed. said I don't want to watch your review. No one cares. <laughs> He's like, Jay, thanks. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take my interesting comments somewhere else. I'm British now. By the way, I'd rather have the twelve. <laughs> You'd rather have the twelve? No, no. Yeah, I, ra I would I, rather I have think, the one coconut size. I sized. think the twelve. I'd rather have the one coconut size one. All that weight one. pulling on your skin on one. I know, but one? Jim, sex would be a lot of fun. That's all I'm gonna say. You're gonna knock him out. You're gonna, yeah. You're gonna oh get, yeah, that's fun. It'd be a lot of fun. Somebody's gonna give you a blowjob. You're gonna knock him out with that one. Dude, <laughs> try donkey punching someone with your one testicle <laughs> while you're fucking them in the ass. I'd be worried about my pants though. Though, like you just see my ball sack like all the time. <laughs> Like, you ever like, get, let's talk like, about his ball sack. Is that a coconut in your pocket, or are you just happy to see No, no, it's like an actual coconut. <laughs> yeah, do you ever get like, that? Like, where... it doesn't have sperm in it. It's got coconut water in it's it. It's got coconut milk in it. And after a while, it goes bad. And so uh, it just stinks. <laughs> uh, you gotta drain it every couple days. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, like, block a hole in it. <laughs> In fact, that's where they get the coconut water from that you drink. It's, it's just funny. people with the coconuts in their dick. Find a cocoa water. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, environmental resistance. Um, uh, uh, it's a great Daniel is asking, does the total volume of the small ball situation exceed the volume of the coconut situation? Slightly. Yes. Yeah, yes. I would say slightly. Slightly yeah. more. Because you got... Okay, the amount of... Ball juice is the same, but you gotta uh, you gotta juice. take in effect the amount of extra skin. To oh cover right, right, all right, of right, these right, smaller right. things. Yeah, your surface area. all is about that. <laughs> <laughs> your surface area is bigger, so therefore your weight is slightly okay, I bigger. It. I gotta say, I like the screen layout a lot more now with us just in the corner. Yes. Yeah. No, I just it's just a reminder uh, that hey, we're here. It was just our pilot. You know, us hey, just look, and we're pilot. sitting in that order too. Yeah, on a couch. Well, you're not yeah, sitting I'm, on a couch. Yeah, I'm in my chair because I'm, I play keyboard and mouse because... Is that a shield? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah it is. Is okay. he invincible from that side of the shooting? Yeah, you have to shoot. I have to shoot my grenade around him or get around him. That's how that enemy I, I think Doom Guy just reeks. All the time. Like, you can just smell him coming. No, no, but I feel like, I feel like uh, he doesn't smell like he hasn't showered in days. He just smells like pure adrenaline. I yeah. hate in, in video games, every video game, like Call of Duty, this game, Destiny, Halo. If somebody's got a shield and you shoot him with a grenade and the grenade explodes on the shield, I don't care. That person's dead. That person's dead. But no, it it doesn't even, it doesn't stop just bullets. In the, in the very grenades. least, it would blow them back. It would knock them back, feet. lose yeah. the shield. Yeah. But no. That's a lot of physics. Jim. Have you guys seen this things on like uh on Oh yeah, I forgot I have this. Um Half-Life 2? <laughs> yes, Half-Life 2. The, the glitch, I love the glitch. The glitch is if Oh, there's my favorite one. If you can't see them, they can't see you. And so like if you hold up a trash can while the enemy is right in front of you <laughs> and you can't see them, <laughs> they amazing. they won't shoot at you because they don't see you. That's amazing. Yeah, there's a lot of like yeah. old games from that era that have that glitch. that have I that can, have that glitch. I could load up uh, Inside Gaming. They play uh, Chaser. Yeah, and they have like the a cover system, but like not like a duck and cover system, but it's just like if you're behind something, and the enemy will try to get a <laughs> position on have you. Have you heard? Have you seen the big head cheats from the first Call of Duty game? 
Yes. Where if you put in big heads, suddenly all their heads get like super gigantic. <laughs> well, it makes it very easy for one hit kills uh, for headshots. Well, they have like uh, like Unreal Tournament. They actually have that as a, che a, a cheat too, where it's just like that's just a thing you could just unlock in the cheat section, or it's just yeah, a modifier. There's, a, there's another game that I, I I've played where no, you get big heads. Don't hit me. I know. Um, Finest Hour, uh, Modern. Fuck. Stop um, it. Medal Stop of Honor. It. Frontline has that. Oh, Medal of Honor Frontline is a good That was such a good game. game. Such a My favorite game. level by far is Arnhem Knights. I couldn't tell you anything about it. I, just hearing the name brings back so much nostalgia. Arnhem Knights is the one where oh. it's, you're defending, or okay. you're trying to get out of Arnhem, okay. which was a fucking did bloodbath it, in reality. Did anyone play the new Medal of Honor? No one no. plays Medal of Honor. <laughs> that, that franchise Medal of Honor, died. Yeah, Medal of Honor died with PS3. Like, it used to be huge. Yeah, I know. And that then was they like, came out with one on the PS4, right? That was like, yeah, they had one for the PS4. That was like, before Battlefield, people were talking about Battlefield being Call of Duty's competitor. That was Call of Duty's competitor. Yeah, for the just... longest time, yeah. I, I don't exactly know what happened. But I'll tell I you think this. quality just went down. The, the only two, Money. in my opinion, really good modern, uh, Medal of Honor games was Medal of Honor Frontline and Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Yeah, I played Rising Sun. Rising too. Sun was my very first PlayStation 2 game ever. And I Grand fucking love that Theft game. Auto San Andreas is my first. Oh, well, I'm sorry. One that I owned, I should have said. San Andreas was right up there. That was my first rated M game, and I used to pick up hookers all the time. Just because I could, and I was a little fuck. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I can't remember if it still is. At one point, it was the number one selling game ever made. Yeah. It was Modern over. Warfare, Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2 outdid it. Over 25 million copies sold. That's, That's crazy. That's fish. And imagine selling them for full price, Jesus $50. Christ, Jake. I heard that. <laughs> heard what? <laughs> He's, uh, it's, uh, that's a lot of fish. <laughs> oh, did you guys object to the idea that on the Halloween stream we do SCP Containment Breach or one of the SCP games? Yeah, that's fine. I watched, I watched Wait, Markiplier on, on play Halloween a little bit. Or... It shouldn't be on Halloween, yeah, but it'd be yeah. the one closest to it. Yeah, because I'm going to be busy on Halloween. I'm oh, me be, too. I'm going to be out. I'm, I'm going all out this year. But Friday, you can't make it the Friday before Halloween? I don't know why you, why you said that you couldn't make it. It's, uh, I don't have like a great relation with... Bill Meyer. Yeah. Never mind. Yes. Okay. Got it. Yeah. No, it's... Got it. Just me, me and him and CJ have history, and I don't want yeah. to like... CJ. Well, CJ's not going... Yeah, he made that clear. <laughs> yeah. So far, I think it's Rich, you, Daniel, Daniel, Jenny, Alex, Matt, Bill, Jen's brother, Bill. Bill who? Jen's oh. brother. No, Bill. the other Bill. Bill Meyer. Oh, okay. Uh, Jen it looks like the Oxygen Destroyer from the original Godzilla. I'm not even kidding. That's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. oh now you're red. Yeah, now I can upgrade my health or my armor. Or my armor. Hand. Does that not look like the oxygen destroyer? Uh, People of YouTube. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. I liked I before. I was, I was just like, like I was listening to you guys, and I was just standing here waiting for the cutscene, and it was just like like, like a loading screen for Iron Man. Yeah. And now Iron Man's here. Tony, you uh, you ain't looking so good. You yeah, have some scrawny arms there. So, so there, there is a story to this game, game but it is in the background. Yeah, it is in a way in the background. So they found hell on Mars, and they found two yeah. doctors. One, One doctor, doctor, this guy, is all robot. robot. Yeah, like his conscience was transferred to this robot, robot body, so he can survive longer. The, the other doctor is like she has like bone cancer or some shit, and she wears like this suit that's wrapped to her body. That, that like keeps her alive, alive but puts her in constant pain, and, and she can be put on meds to like make the pain stop, but she refuses to because it's slowly driving her insane, and it makes her think that like the pain is taking her to like this like eternal place, which everyone thinks is going to be hell. So she started a cult on the uh, Mars station, where they're trying to get like the demons of hell to take over everything. And they accidentally find Doom Guy. Because, because this takes place after the first game. Alright. So Doom Guy. I want to see the giant floating head things. Oh, that, that comes later when we actually go to hell. 
You're not even in hell yet? What? No, we're not in... This is the second level. Like, we don't go to hell until, like, the fourth or fifth level. Okay, well, we're on the adjacent facility. It's adventuring turbines aren't re-engaged. Neither of us will survive the meltdown. Yeah, we're just gonna... Hey, uh, my name's Markiplier, and we're uh, doing a Let's Play right now. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I watched him play the ACP or whatever it was. Uh, SCP containment unit. Well, he was the one that... I think so he was the what's, one that what's the deal with it, as long as you're looking at the thing? No, no there's a different rule for each per, for each uh, character. I know you're thinking of... For the... Bill? For Bob. Bob. Uh, who's Bob? Uh, if you blink, he'll he'll get closer. He's like a weeping angel from... Yeah, he's, he's basically... But as long as you're looking at him, he can't move. Until you blink. But if you blink, or if you're you fucked. turn around... Yeah, yeah, you're fucked. And then there's uh, another guy who is like, you can't... Just, you can't look at him. Otherwise, he'll start crying and chase you and kill you. Oh, uh, yeah, and then there's the guy with the mask. The doctor. Yeah. I don't know what his story is. Each character has their own, like... That's a lot of horror games now, like, um... No, I That's... thought SCP Containment Breach was a really good game, though. No, no, no. I, I had a lot of fun playing that. No, game. no, no, it's a good terrifying. Game. It's a good game, but I'm just saying the mechanics are in a lot of horror games. Like, um, oh, they're very simple. Oh yeah. Like, uh, f uh what? It's that game where you play as a pizza delivery guy and go to this haunted house. Emily wants to play. Like, there's the one girl where it's just like, if she appears, you have to like find her and stare at her. And then there's the one guy who. Um, when you hear him laugh, you need to run out of the room into the next room. And then there's the one clown that if you hear him laugh, you need to stand completely still and he'll appear in front of you and you have to like not move a muscle, otherwise he'll get you he'll get you. So uh, I haven't heard have of that game. Not move it's a very it's a very during the jump scare. friendly yes. It's not like a big uh, he just appears in front, of, in front of you. He's like this tall and just goes peek a boo And then walks and away. Then he walks away, yeah. <laughs> I want him to walk away. It's it's kind of adorable. Does that say shoot missiles? Yeah. It's Doom. Doom got... Your machine gun is going to shoot missiles. Yes. Yeah. He's Doom guy. He's invincible. With his giant bull balls. <laughs> his giant mule testicles. Look at that shit. Mules can't have children. They're sterile. That's mule... why their balls are so No, big. mules. Mules are uh, part horse, part donkey. They're, they're usually sterile, as a result. Oh. So when you shoot a grenade, does that only use one bullet? Oh, I forgot how that works. But something like that. How are you doing a fingerprint scanner through a suit? Uh, it's it Doom Guy. Work, yeah, it's, it's, it's Doom Guy. It's Doom Guy. <laughs> no, but now we have to find this thing. That's, uh, what, first boss then? That's a Hell Knight. It's not really a first boss, because the bosses always come with the health bars. This is just an enemy. He's a big All right, so this is Daniel's official answer to okay. our to our did question. He why oh yeah, he did. Oh, all right, this let's is why hear it. this is this is why he's awesome. Um, if we assumed a <laughs> coconut has a diameter of about five inches and approximate a grape of one inch radius sphere, then the coconut situation gives greater volume and surface area than twelve grapes. So coconut. <laughs> More surface area to play with. More fun things to do with weight. Oh. <laughs> I do right. want a cup for daily activities, though. More surface area means more sensitivity, which is great for sex. Sucks if you bump into a table. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that would... We could change the assumed radii to get different results, though. <laughs> so what are you saying? Like a golf ball, then? Make the yeah. coconuts into an inch and a half? But then, then it wouldn't be a coconut. Uh, the grapes, sorry. The grapes. I'm thinking of it this way, though. Like, fucking, like, imagine, um... Oh, just rip his arm off. That's cool. Yeah, that's Doom Guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the excuse for everything? Yeah, it's Doom Guy. It's like, that, <laughs> it's like the, the Batman but, excuse. But here's the thing, it works. <laughs> but here's it it thing. works. Here, here's the real thing. It's Doom Guy. It's Doom Guy. It's Doom Guy. It works. Like, also, uh, think of it this way. Like, you walk around... You're gonna have with, with either option. You're gonna have like two bulges in your in your crotch, and if the coconut bulge, everyone's just gonna think you have a big dick. But if you have like the grape bulge, people They're are gonna, gonna think, think they, they have shit a lumpy your pants. Dick. <laughs> people are gonna think you shit in your pants because <laughs> you got you got like a plump of shit. <laughs> so, in that idea, like yeah, the coconut would work better. 
But you see, the only thing that I care about is sex. Yeah. But I want to get a good But you brought up that good point about bumping a table. It would suck. Oh, yeah, a definitely. It would be painful. Which is why I'd want to wear it. imagine cup. all that momentum of the coconut just hitting that table. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You know, like, Big Boob Lady from, from the Simpsons movie, where she kind of, like, waves back and forth, and then she points with her boobs? It's like that, but with your ball. Oh, that's... <laughs> your ball. That would, well, it, you said Sing one coconut-sized ball. Oh, that would be even a worse idea for the ladies out there who are not listening to this. Imagine, like, I have choice. no, I have no women fans. What are we talking about? Where Everyone who listens Jen to me... might be listening. Everyone who listens to me is either a closeted homosexual who likes to go on 4chan or is a Godzilla fan who lives in their mom's basement. That's about it. <laughs> but, hey... At least they got that four chan. Four chances. Yeah, at least they have a yeah. basement. <laughs> Some people don't have basements. My dad doesn't we're, have we're a basement. We're in a basement. <laughs> yeah. Basement. Basements are nice. Like. Oh, is that the guy? No, he's just he's a he's a bigger guy. He's a Hellraiser. Yeah, that was the Hellraiser. No, Hell. Have you seen bigger. any of the Hellraiser movies? With Pinhead? No. Oh, I love those movies so much. Especially, especially the first two. The first the two are so only, good. The only stuff I know about Hellraiser is when very the original... Yes. When the original ending was pitched for Freddy vs. Jason, the original ending was going to be Freddy and Jason get dragged to hell, and then Hellraiser walks in the room, and he's just like, all right, what are you guys fighting about? Oh my god, I would have loved that. But I think there was something wrong with like getting the rights. Yeah, I guarantee it was a different company. Yeah. But I think it would have worked out a lot. That, that would have been mean, hysterical. I mean, that movie has, like, its issues anyway. I feel like that would have made it. Freddy vs. Jason? Yeah. I think Freddy vs. Jason is awesome. I think I think it knew exactly what it wanted to be. A silly, dumb movie. Yeah. I, but, um, I haven't seen it in full. I've only seen people talk I think about it's, it. I think it's a lot of fun. I have a blast watching that film. But the first two Hellraiser movies, it, what, what's scary about it is that some of these horrific things... Are being displayed in it, but yet you get a boner, um, and, and and that's that's all the like the BDSM stuff that's, yeah, that's in it, thing. and there's a lot of like subliminal messaging throughout the entire film that's very very sexual. Well then, and I love it. <laughs> I, I I do. I absolutely love it. It makes and, me feel and, wrong, but it oh yeah, it makes me feel so totally wrong. filthy and disgusting. The fact that I've got this raging boner watching the this thing shove his two fingers down this girl's throat but Ooh, oh but it's a dick it's like alien it's a dick. alien has a lot of it's the sexual. xenomorph has a lot of like sexual connotations yeah. to it all of geiger's work is sexual yeah oh, oh god yeah he was a genius i still love the story with him and dan o'banion what was that story they went to geiger's house to you know to talk to him about doing the artwork for or like the production design and stuff for alien mm -hmm. and the first thing he says to them are would you like to drop some acid oh my <laughs> and so they all drop acid <laughs> and they're just like what if the alien came out of another person like even the and stuff then... that they used for the alien making the alien like whenever it like opens its jaw those were condoms the the freaking jelly that was like dipping, like that was all over, like the eggs and everything like that was KY jelly. Oh shit! All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yellow key card. I'm so sorry you feel this way. Well, when they were filming Doctor No, that's how they uh, made explosions. They put black powder in a condom, put it in yeah, the sand, and squibs. boom. Well, that's what they do. That's what they did. Well, they did that with uh, in the original Dawn of the Dead. How they got ah, squibs to work is. is they put a bunch of stuff in condoms. Yeah. I mean, they were they were right there at a at a mall. Yeah. They just literally walked over. Tom Savini would just walk over to uh, the store and be like, "Can I buy like six boxes of condoms?" Yeah, because you can <laughs> buy like real pyro stuff, and you're gonna spend like. 10 or 15 bucks per explosive. I mean, they're tiny explosives just to replicate a bullet. Yeah. Or you can go spend a dollar fifty on a 10 pack. Condoms. A 10 pack of condoms. And I'm like, there are is, there is so many things you could do with condoms other than sex. And make this is balloons. why I love condoms. Make balloons. Or you could do what we did in pineapple and buy a freaking hose. You can make your own squid machine. I forgot to bring that with me. Next time I go home, I'm going to bring it back. Stuck. Damn it. I have to fight the hell We're stuck again. on the stairs, man. Yeah. I should have cheated. Anyone else walk away? 
No. I can put on. I'm a enjoying watching you. All right. I mean, I'm. That was. Keep taking your. That was. Off, please. That was gorgeous. Every time we die, we have to take off a piece of clothing. I. No. <laughs> How, we could just say that we did. No one's. Wa no one's watching us. Next time we'll there's no the camera. camera. No, I don't even. If it took us this long to just play with audio, I'm not gonna hook up a fucking camera. If we do VR, we have to. Uh. I don't want to do VR. Why? Not yet. I'll do it with that'd you. Be, that would be like a grand finale. I have to see like how it works, because there's a camera on the front of the HTC Vive, and I think there's a way to have both feeds working where you can have Because I know how you can put our webcam up on OBS, so... I'm not thinking anything... Ah! Uh... And that's how you make chicken. That was beautiful. Do that again. So restart the game. <laughs> oh yes, I want this. Fuck me. Okay, let's in here. I wouldn't want to necessarily have the front-facing camera. I want people to be able to see the ridiculous around us. us. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah you, you can like do that. Jake. Remember the first time I played and I said, "How did I end up on the floor?" Being able to see myself do that, that would be hilarious. Yeah, what hilarious. the fuck was with you with that? I got really immersed. And he, yeah, this guy, this guy was all about like, Jake, I don't know how immersed I'm going to get in the game. We're going to, I'll just try out this virtual reality <laughs> thing. And, and then halfway why, through. Why are you talking like Rich Anderson? Why are you talking? I'm not sure why I'd make out this virtual reality oh, thing. I think it's oh, you just shoved his foot in his own mouth. That was awesome. Do foot in mouth. <laughs> Literally. Foot in mouth and head up ass. So what you talking about? Yeah, but he my, said. That's against my religion. I'm Rich Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I worked with SAG. Did he? And I'm afraid yes, of cooties. For his senior project. Well, you, oh, Richard Anderson. I mean, that's not something that wear as a fucking like prize medal, because like. A lot hey, that of is pretty cool. Sag. I hate SAG. SAG has its pluses and its minuses. It has mostly minuses. Just like union versus non-union. I'd rather be non-union. Sometimes I feel like being union is good. Like if you're working on a big, big movie, union's great. Yeah. No, no, I feel like union's better on small productions no. because. On a small production, if it doesn't make money, they're just going to say, okay, I'm not paying you. And there's nothing you can do about it if you're not in the union. On the, are you going to no, be able to No, contracts. Afford... You will yeah, always work on contracts. Are you going to be able to afford a lawyer to fight it? No. Well, no, because if you make a contract, then lawyers do get involved and you don't want that. Yeah. However, on a big production, if you have unions, everything is very, very... You have your job. Uh, this yeah, is what you, you have cannot, to do. You cannot... A PA cannot touch a light stand. Yes. And to me, that's great on a huge production. Because everyone knows exactly what they need to do. On, on a small, small production, production, you don't need that. When you got four people working for you... Mm -mm. I still remember when we were working on that scene for RK oh, in yeah, the basement. Yeah. And we were, Schneer told us to put the uh, dolly, on, dolly the tracks, on the tracks. Yeah. And we did it just the two of us. And he said, why'd you do that? <laughs> well, be, be, he said, why didn't you use four people? And I said, Schneer, our biggest crew is, has been four people. We don't have people to waste. We, we, yeah, we just we do don't it. have the time to do it. And then I also showed him to put the well, arm to push like it. always like five towns where it's just like they give you the tools to have a one-man crew and expect you to have like a full like studio production crew. And come out with, and they always get disappointed when you don't hand in fucking Sis and Kane. Well, yeah, well, it, it's like this new professor, Justin Andrews, like, Him, I he, he just kept going after me, like, there's no tomorrow. And eventually, I just looked at him, and I'm like, and he was like, you see, I I just, don't, I think it would be bad if, and then I just looked at him before he finished, oh. and I'm like, you think everything I do is bad. Jake. Jay. Ah! <laughs> I'm on fire. Oh, oh, oh. I can. I think I can save this. Well, I'm supposed to come down here anyway, because I can get that over there. I just... Fucked up. No, I'm... 
Yeah. I fucked up. Oh god. Okay. Oh, oh now we get to see it. Yeah, we get to see it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, oh, what? All right, now you got to. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say you got to purposely die then. That was good. That was Terminator Two. That was on the other day. That's a good movie. Yeah. If I see Terminator Two one, I have to watch the rest of it. It's a good movie. Terminator's and then just just seeing the suction cups on up. the guy. Mm. Oh yeah, that's the inverted suction cups. Every time he gets shot with the shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think of uh, you know where the? Oh god. Okay, I died in. What do you guys? Uh, did you hear about uh, fucking Sarah Connor, OG Sarah Connor, signing up for the next Terminator movie? I thought that shit, that shit got shit canned. Yeah, I thought too. But she's on. She's on for it. You know what else she was in? What? King Kong Lives. The sequel to King Kong seventy six. Oh. 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 All right, I like this. You can keep doing that. Mm, this feels well, good. I, I like this cracker. <laughs> it's got cheese on it. It's got soy sauce. Who made this cracker? Yeah, it's what did he say? This. Sound good? Beautiful. Good. We but, are. Uh, yeah, isn't that like, like a Frankenstein movie, movie and then King Kong's just in it? No. Uh, kind of. It's his son, right? No, uh, they find a female Kong t to do a blood transfusion with King Kong, and then they fall in love, and then they have a baby. What the fuck? The ending is actually really good. I, I hate to admit it. Doesn't King Kong die at the end? Yeah. King Kong, gets, well, King, Kong King Kong fucking gets slaughtered. But it's actually a pretty decent ending. It's... <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that, that, those, fran those monster movie franchises are really great. interesting. This is trippy. This is really trippy. Yeah, now you know how I feel. Dude, when I put these Jake, you got on, low ammo. No, not anymore. Oh, we, this is, we need to destroy Godzilla. Hey, he's got a grenade. Whoa. Jim just got his dick vibrated by that controller. That's weird. I can't keep doing that. Mm -mm. Foot and mouth and head up, asshole. What you talking about? Oh no! Oh no! I'm is that a gorilla? To... That's that's a hell knight. It looks like a gorilla. He's part gorilla, part just demon from outer space. Grenade. That's a podcast that Bill Worcester does. Yeah, I know. That's why I kind of just. It... It's, it's, oh, uh, you broke his skull. Oh, so, uh... Oh, yes. Submachine... It's, it's not really a submachine gun, it's like a laser... It's plasma. Plasma rifle. But it's essentially a submachine gun. Yeah, it serves its purpose. They, they added submachine guns into Destiny 2. I don't like that. I don't know. Submachine gun is a very, like... Covert ops military. Yeah, yeah. It's that, that's like it serves the purpose of a light. It looks like you're shooting like Pac-Man's at people. No, it, it's more like you're shooting the orbs that he eats instead of Pac-Man. Every orb that Pac-Man eats, it goes straight to my gun. Oh. Yeah, that was good. I love that. Oh, you got 125 health. Cool. See, this is why people are going to watch our stream, just to see us reacting to the violent gore and the violent gore itself, because... Like My Little blood. Pony. My Little Pony. Okay, so... I still don't understand why people like My Little Pony. Me neither. I, I, I don't get it. I, I've even made it a rule on Geeks for Geeks that My Little Pony is not allowed. <laughs> if you like My Little Pony, then get out. Yeah. No, I actually <laughs> like... got suicide bombers coming after you? Yeah. Well, oh no, they're Japanese. Baka, baka. No, like I actually um, <laughs> nice. I actually um, I watched the Nostalgia Critic. He was talking about this was from years ago, not years ago. This is from like a few months ago. But I was like, it's, I feel like it's still relevant. He was talking about BoJack Horseman and some other like shit that was on like Netflix or stuff, some shows. And he was like, is weird the new brilliant? And he mentioned My Little Pony. And I'm like, okay. 
I actually have not watched a single thing from My Little Pony, but like stuff I've seen, kind of seen and heard about looks terrible and that I would hate it. Let me see what he has to say about it. And he talks about like, he understands why like the show is popular because they actually like deal with like some themes and stuff. It's just done in a really kids show type of manner. Yeah, but... But I'm like, why is there an adult male fan base obsessed with this show? Yeah, and that's that's what creeps me out about it. It's not like Avatar The Last Airbender, which genuinely has adult but that like, is, themes in it. Yeah, that and, is, it ha- that is and, a well-made show yes. that any age group can watch. My Little Pony... Is clearly meant for children. Yes. For specifically female children. Girls. Why are 30-year-old men... Getting giant life-size pillows of these and sleeping with them. Yeah, why Absolutely. are there My Little Pony dildos? Absolutely. Why Why is there so much My Little Pony porn on the That's internet? That's too much. No, that, that needs to go away. CJ Scotty is a brony. I know he is. Is he really? Yeah, oh, Wicked! And it's... Ugh! My favorite... I knew Steve, like, likes so, him, St- Steve Bono's I... a big brony now, too. Oh, but and I'm like, ugh! You know, it's a funny joke. I, I remember one argument. He, I, he was just making it around me. He wasn't making it at me. He actually said, you know, not everyone that likes My Little Pony is Excuse me. Excuse me. Not everybody. Yeah, so, right. not everybody. Not everybody who likes My Little, my little Pony. Yeah. Ooh, ow. Ooh. Didn't yeah. see that one yet. Now, see, my problem with a game like this is... The brutal takedowns, the takedowns, yeah. they get repetitive. There's like six different takedowns. Yeah, that's, there needs to be like more. Like, I get it. That's that's the signature thing about this game is that it's so brutal. All right. Give me like 40 or 50 different brutal takedowns. But you're also, yeah, okay. to, you're also getting to the territory of like that's the whole type of thing for the game where it's, it's, it's kind of really brutal, but now you're just numb to it. Exactly, but if there's 40 or 50 different brutal takedowns and it takes me an hour to see every single one... That's a lot of programming time, though. In like I don't modern care. Video, in modern video games, that's, like, demanding. I mean, I would love if they did that. I would love to see just a whole bunch of variation. Again, again step, down, step back on the graphics and give me that. I still even think, like, maybe the, they should spend a little more time on the graphics, especially since, like... The textures loading in take a little bit too long, so everything kind of looks like it's fading into existence. I don't know. I just these brutal takedowns. I think I've seen maybe eight different ones. I you gotta at least double it. And I know there's certain enemies that we haven't seen yet, but these gimps yeah. and the, the flame throwing guys, you see them. You're killing thirty of them in every room. Give me oh, a yeah. different animation. Oh, yeah, me. I ended with uh, my my last, my original game. I killed, like, over 10,000, not 10,000, but, like, over 1,000 imps. So, that's a lot of in, in Destiny, it tells you how many kills you got if you pre-ordered it. What, that's a weird thing. That's, that's a stupid so, thing. That's so dumb. It's just like, pay, pay extra for this game, and we'll tell you how much time actually, you've wasted. <laughs> it's actually $5 cheaper if you pre-order. Yeah, but that, I... I, I so it's not ever pay since, extra. Ever since the, um, ever since, uh, or, like, Did getting pre- games digitally yeah. became, like, a universal thing, pre-ordering lost it for me. Pre-ordering, to me, is just you wasting money on a game that's not finished. Well, that's not even pre-ordering. That's, like, that's, like, early access. Oh, uh, that's what I should. Yeah. You're right. When when I pre-order early access game, is stupid, I, too. Like, I fucking hate early access. I, I get it. I do it after I see the beta. If I'm going even the beta pre-order. fucking lies to you. It, 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 like, alphas are a little more, like, deceptive. Betas aren't as deceptive, but they can make some, like, quick changes. Exactly, and, and that's why, that's why if the beta's good, and then they take the feedback that they get from the beta, yeah. I'll pre-order it. That's are what those happened people in the Rainbow pods Six, over there? Rainbow Six Siege. Is it a lock? Right here. Oh, oh no, those are just suits. Those are, like, okay. Half-Life suits. It might be. It might be a reference. I mean, or like a little easier. It is orange. Can you see that? It's got a little like orange tint to it. Yeah, I mean Half Life. Daniel popular. is still playing with different ratios to see if he can figure out a way that the, the that they the could coconut, somehow the, equal each other out. The grapes are better. Yeah. Is, Daniel, is it sad I love that you. I'm, I'm still playing with different ratios to see when the grapes get you more surface area? <laughs> 
I, I like one of us should say like he can't he can't be that into it. Cut to Daniel in his room with a, a beautiful mind drawings all over the walls. Uh, <laughs> all right, not much great. of an exaggeration. All right, Daniel. Not much of an exaggeration. Instead of twelve grape sized ones, what about eight baseball sized? Eight versus baseball sized. No, eight but, baseball sized no, versus getting, one coconut. Point. Okay, so like a testicle is like around like this big. Yeah. So two of these, combine them together, and you have like something a little bit bigger than a baseball. So we're like this big on testicle size. That's what I'm saying. Like, if we're gonna increase the quantity, we need to decrease the size. So, so either then that they shouldn't be baseballs at all. Either that or like a bowling ball that is half a testicle, like a crescent moon testicle. No, that just sounds painful. Like it rubbing up the inside of your. No, no, no it's not like sing. No it's just, it it's just, it's molded as like a crescent oh, okay, moon. Okay, okay, okay. That still sounds painful. No, not that way. Imagine there was a part of the body that you had on you that you could actually use to stab someone with. Like if you had like a thorn that. I mean, if out you of your put thigh. enough pressure on it, and if your dick was hard enough, I, I suppose you could stab somebody with your dick. Your dick would break. Through. Yeah, I feel like your dick would break. You I mean, I mean, well, don't yourself. you stab people with your dick anyways when you have sex with them? Kind of. But yeah, but yeah. you but penetrate them. Right. That's the definition of stabbing. <laughs> yeah, but you don't create that. You don't <laughs> oh, that's what you think. No, <laughs> I, Jim, don't don't you know how sex works? When oh. you pen, you use your dick to penetrate, you break the flagellum. I think I'm going in a giant circle. Yeah, there's yes. a maze. You should uh, love the map. <laughs> uh, no. Maps are for bitches, okay? <laughs> Maps are for bitches, man. We ain't bitches. Look, we why ain't... can I not crouch through this hole? It's obvious. It just looks like you're humping. <laughs> it's big enough for me to tease me. Have you filled out your UAC accidental death and disembowelment form yet? You know what? Yeah, we have your, to go see Jessica. Your death was not an accident, okay? Well, I already went this way. If you could change the shape of your dick, not the size. Horseshoe. The shape. <laughs> you want a horseshoe Saxophone. Dick? <laughs> saxophone. Saxophone. <laughs> okay, so, saxophone I want dick. a saxophone-shaped penis. Where does the, <laughs> where does the dick start on the saxophone? <laughs> I don't quite know. All I know is that I think it'd be funny to you can say only carry you have a guns? saxophone shaped penis. Hold on, hold on. You can only carry two guns? No. No. Oh. You're carrying four right now. What'd you do that for, asshole? I wanted to open the door, but obviously that's not how to no, open it. You don't need explosives to open doors. Doom guy could just rip the door off. Why is Deadpool staring at me? He's always staring at you. He stares at everyone. <laughs> Days where you, I had the lights down like this. Days of Future Past. I like that movie. Hey, there's something over here. No, I remember, because uh, there's one time I was like sleeping down here for some reason. I think my cousin was uh, sleeping upstairs in my bed, and I just offered to sleep on the couch. And I was sleeping. I had to sleep this way, because I couldn't look that way, because Deadpool was just always staring at you. So and crazy. when And when the lights are dim, you could just see his white eyes. But now, it makes his eyes look like he's just angry. Now, I'll tell you what. Even though Deadpool is like a, a disfigured mess, I'd have sex with Deadpool. You've brought this up, and I've agreed with you. <laughs> I'd have sex with Deadpool. Hey, look, there's something over there. It's blue. I mean, I would be. You do have to cross bitch. the line. You do have to cross the line, though. Deadpool is a brony. You remember? He is. That, you remember that one cutaway? Yes. Oh, he's yeah, masturbating yeah. to the unicorn. Oh, oh, a door. It's a jar. Ah! What the fuck's going on? Oh, the uh, whole fact. He just starts shooting. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, just start. <laughs> when in doubt, fire. Doom got scared. Doom got a little bitch right now. You just go down there and just. Just, just try. Daniel says Hilbert curve for dick shape. I'm gonna pull it up. I think I don't remember where I brought it up. It was definitely a Five Towns though, because I can't sh say shit like this at post. Mosquitoes have a mos uh, have a shovel shaped dick to scoop out the cum from the last mosquito, and I think I don't know what that did. But... No, if I wanna 
a, oh, a shit, shape of a shot. dick, it would be a horse dick. No, no, but just not, a shape. Just the shape of a horse dick. Yeah. Da, 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 yeah, da, da, I'm not da, saying da, change da. the mass or, the, or like the volume. It's just the shape. Would you rather have like a pool cue dick where it's like really skinny and super long? That's what Daniel wants his dick to be shaped like. It goes on forever. A gif. It goes on. Yeah, maybe that's why. Boom, bitch. Get out the way. HN is 2N minus 1 over 2N, i.e. What the fuck are you talking about? It grows. Speak English, bro. Well, that's what I say to Daniel all the time. Speak English, bro. Speak English, bro. <laughs> bro. Oh, slow motion shit. Which breaks up the flow of the game. Because I'd love just moving a million miles an hour while just playing this game. You can get your dick away from me, bud. No, no. You can, you, can, you can beat me in the face with your dick if you want. I'm okay with that. What the fuck is this guy made out of? Iron. Go punch him and find out. Boom, bitch! And he dropped that dinky little health. Really? He shoved up his butt. See how tight his ass was? Like, you'd Tap have to... Tap that ass. Yeah, you have to really push Tap stuff up there. Tap that ass for me. Tap that ass for me. Bam, bitch! Get out the way! Bam, bitch! Get out the way! Dun, dun, dun. It's boom, bitch. Boom. Yeah, well, Jim lives in his own world of continuity. Like, you've heard of the Mandela effect. Jim is the no! Mandela effect. Jim is Mandela. Jim is Nelson <laughs> Mandela. He died in prison in 1995, and now oh. Jim's here. There is some stuff with the Mandela effect that's genuine, cre genuinely creepy, but most of it I just think it's... Oh, no. I'm well, gonna most die. of it is just, just people just making works. mistakes. Yeah. But what would you say is, like, a creepy one? Because I don't know any creepy the ones. The JFK... The JFK won four seats or six seats. I always remembered it as four seats. Wait, what? The the car the JFK was shot in. It's a six. -seater? It's a six seater, not four. I and did... I keep thinking it's a four feeter. Uh, it's I remember four footer. Oh four my footer, goodness, that a, thing's a four, gonna... a four oh, seater. I think that's just like a, the normal convention that everyone because all cars are like five seaters. So. Oh, I fucking missed. Really? Really, it's a six seater. Six seater, yeah. There's three rows. There's three rows. There's three rows. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, there is. I know there is. I've seen the footage, but yeah, I remember there, there being four. A little bit of hell. But but then you know, at the same time, I'm like, this is just me making a human mistake, you know? Yeah, it's not saying it's like that the bear steam I am now in an yeah. yeah. I okay. Hold on. What did they call them in the show? Bear stain. They call them the bear stain bears. It's always it's always been the bear stain bears. They pronounced it Bearstein. Okay, that's just that's just weird. It's like, like how do you spell Looney Tunes? Oh, yeah. L o o n e y t o o n s t u e t u n e s. Yep. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. it, it was more towards musical. Okay. Does Mario have suspenders? No, I'm sorry. Does Mickey Mouse wear suspenders? He's got buttons. Yeah, he's got buttons. But he's got no suspenders. Yeah. Well, they, they were just part of his pants. Yep. Everyone thought he had suspenders? Yep. No, that was... Uh, did the, uh, uh, the Monopoly man have a monocle? No. Yes. No. What? No. 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 Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna type it up, Jim. I believe you. I believe yeah. you. No, I don't, no, no, I don't remember any like specific. Ca the only character I remember that I iconically had a, mon a monocle was the uh, head of the concentration, not the concentration camp, the head of the uh, POW camp from uh, Hogan's Heroes. Oh yeah. What's what's his name? Uh, Kemp. Oh, I fucking loved him. him and Schultz. Kemp and Schultz. They were my favorites. <laughs> I always wanted to play Schultz. I see nothing. I see I nothing. Know nothing. You see, look, Monocle Man have a monocle. Also, how do you spell Febreze? I'm gonna guess it's not F E B R E Z E. No. 
Zip with an A. It's also a weird question. No, actually, I think that this is how you spell it. It's it. Everyone thought Instead it was E. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I remember I thought, it being one. Me too, I've always remembered it. Also, there's no such thing as um, Jif, Jiffy peanut butter. There's no such thing as Jiffy peanut butter. It's Jiff and Skippy. Oh, and yeah. And people combined the two and said Jiffy, and there's no such thing. Yeah, all right. To me, that one made sense, though, because it's like you always see Skippy and you always you see, see Jif, Jif, so why not accidentally combine the two and say Jiffy. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's fire. Now he's gonna just fucking blow me. Nice feet. Mmm, that calf, though. Yeah, I, I watch the only man things from the Mandela Effect I know or like, the stuff uh, from that internet comment that I could brought Like, up. Luke, I am your father. No, he never says that. Uh, In Casablanca, he never says, play it again, Sam. He just says, play it again. Um, I, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I totally forgot that. Well, everyone used to always get the famous shit wrong, where it's just yes, like, yeah. no, I am your father instead of Luke, I am your father. All it takes is, like, a, just a few people to say it, and it'll catch on. Uh, yeah, well, there's there's the other two famous ones. There's um, Fly, My Pretty's Fly. She doesn't say that. She's like, Fly, Fly, Fly. Yeah. And then uh, Paint Me Like One of Your French Girls. She doesn't say that. If she does, it's more like Draw Me, because it's... Draw Me Like One of Your French Girls is what she says. Yeah, because it's, like, it's a drawing. There's no paint. Doesn't make sense why she'd say Paint Me. Yeah. It's just someone, like, out there just said it and just stuck oh hello it just people. stuck yeah oh, oh god it's gorilla man <laughs> gorilla skull gorilla skull i like that that's your new name gorilla skull no skull oh laser man i was interested in mandela for a while like i was i had fun explaining to my parents what it was over the summer and they just, like, started getting into it. They were like, oh, my God. <laughs> Especially my mom, because when I told her about the Looney Tunes one, and she's, like, such a Looney Tunes fanatic, mm -hmm. she was like, no way. No way. You're lying to me. Yeah. I'm going to call the government. I wanted to make a movie playing around with the Mandela effect, where it's, like, a guy seriously, like, going fucking crazy. Like, no, my daughter was born... At like 9.01 p.m., not 9.01 a.m. Why it's, does it, it say 9.01 a.m.? It needs to start off small. It really does. It needs and to start off really small. Off. And, then at the end and like I, I had this idea where it was like the store was like, did I, was there always two L's in the name of that? Like that's how it starts. Two L's in the name of Was there store. always like like name of a store? And I'll just say Walmart. Just for shits and giggles. It wouldn't be Walmart in the movie. But he looks up at the store name and he's like, has there always been two L's in Whoa. Walmart? And a girl, and like his wife would be like, yeah, there's always been two L's. And that's how it starts. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, okay. And then like it just starts getting worse and worse as it goes on. That'd be creepy. <laughs> That'd be great. Like, stuff that he doesn't even mention at all, but you just notice, like, I want the movie to just start, and he's already in the Mandela Effect universe. Oh, yeah. So halfway through the movie, like, you, you'll just see him as just, like, let's just say he's a white guy. I want him to be like, Throughout the entire movie, he's just going on with all this stuff, and then one time, he just looks in the mirror, and he just goes, holy shit! And he's just like, how long have I been a white guy for? Yeah. <laughs> have you heard of, like, the theories of, like, uh, how every time when we make a decision, it sparks a new alternate universe? Yes. Yeah. And and I, I, I love the idea that whenever we experience deja vu, I just been this it's, it's when our universes briefly connect yeah. Before yeah. they come back apart. Well, here's also a thing I was thinking about in terms of butterfly effect stuff. Oh, I love butterfly because effect. Because yeah. there's the whole thing of, um, how do I word this? Uh, you know, it's just like, uh, you're, you know, you're trying to get your dick in the pussy and yeah, yeah. get it nice and wet. No, and but here's the thing. Like, let's say, like, there's universes where you were never born and stuff. But I was thinking, like, you know, the testicles are filled with so much sperm, and so much sperm are launched Jesus into Christ. the human... No, this, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. So, any... What little... if my dad didn't wear a condom that day? No, but, like, no, even if he did, let's say... If he did wear a condom, you yeah. mean? Like, would I be here? No, 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 not even that. Think of it this way. Like, let's say your dad, like, the night before you and 
he and your mom went to go have so the seven. sex. To go have with the sex. Yeah, go have the sex to make you. Let's say he decided, let's go stop at Carvel. And he <laughs> yeah. had... And he makes you a worster. <laughs> Was this all just leading up to a shit on Will Worcester? No, but I'm serious. I'm serious. So let's say he goes to Bas- let's say Baskin Robbins. <laughs> he goes to Baskin Robbins with, with his mo- with your mom, and he and the yeah, person asks him, "Okay, would you like vanilla or chocolate?" And he has a choice: vanilla or chocolate. A choice that isn't really that important. But let's just say it takes one second longer to make to get like the chocolate ready instead of the vanilla. That one second means that an entirely different group of sperm yes. could have been put in your mom, which means you, the atom noise, could. Ex- I wouldn't be here. You no no no. You would exist, but you wouldn't be you because yeah, well, it would be no. different sperm. And, and in essence, I wouldn't be here. Like me myself wouldn't be here; Just it'd be like somebody this. else. Yeah. It, it would be a all because being. once, not even a second of time was. Yeah, it's crazy, game. and I love the butterfly effect. I play with that in the Godzilla saga, where when Godzilla attacked in 1954, it sparked an entirely new universe. Nixon became president instead of JFK. Whoa. All all sorts of things like that. For a brief so period of time, the Cold War got hot between the United States and the Soviet Union. And that's why like, it all started off because of Godzilla's attack on Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so the Godzilla saga's universe is completely alternate history. Oh my! And that's why I'm like saying how much like people underuse the butterfly effect because it literally could be like he, your father, at, at instead of like picking vanilla or ch- chocolate, he steps on a butterfly, and his mom, your mom, mom gives him a hard time. About killing the butterfly. Yeah, and then I mean, she gets over they, they don't have sex at all. Or she just she gives him a hard time, but gets over. What, it, like, what if that man? What if that British soldier in World War One, instead of hesitating to pull that trigger when he had his gun aimed at Hitler, pulled the trigger? Yeah, yeah. Guillermo yeah. del Toro would be working in adult films. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what. The that's outcome. the most important thing to come out of that. Yeah. Yeah, the Guillermo Totoro came out. Hitler made him straight. So, what I'm gathering from watching you play is you have to play this game exactly like you play zombies. Just run in a circle, have oh, them follow zombies? you. No. Oh, I got some fun maps. You can play McDonald's. That's hysterical. We have mods for... Yeah, that's the only reason I, I, I didn't buy the game. I'm sharing it with Split Screen, who isn't talking to me anymore, but I still have access to all his games, so I really don't understand how this But it's backwards compatible, too. He has access to your games. Yeah, but I don't care. He doesn't. He only plays Battlegrounds. Like, that's all he does, is just play Is that the 100 people in one map thing? It's, it's, it's just a Battle Royale. That's literally what it is, and I'm just like, okay, it looks kind of fun. I really don't care. I have it. So if one day I decide to play it, you know, I'll give it a shot. But it's, just a, it's a very multiplayer-based game, and I don't really care that much for multiplayer-only games. Like Overwatch, Overwatch I give an exception to. Overwatch I got bored with very quickly. Yeah, I haven't touched it ever since I bought it. Like, <laughs> I, I bought it, and I played a little bit with Jordan and Steve, and then... I stopped because, yeah, multiplayer. There's, There's no, no story, story to drive me. Well, yeah, that's my key to a game. Most games, I should say, is I want a story. Man. Yeah. Even yeah. this Don't is a minimal seized. story. Don't worry, I'm not. Yeah. No, I know. I'm, 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 I'm very. I games, games have, have to. Everything, everything in this life has to work to earn my interest. Like, I've literally, I've just stopped caring about most things because I, I, I'm i expecting them to be bad. Yeah. Or at least I'm anticipating them to be bad, but I want them to be good. Like, people, you see, this is the chick. Like, she's wearing, like, all that on her, and she's in constant pain. She doesn't look like she's in that, pain, that much pain right now. Oh, that's because she's hit that new enlightenment where she's just, like, Why didn't she do what the other scientists did? What other scientists? Oh, oh the robot? robot? Yeah, she didn't want to do that. Well, that's her choice. Yeah. That's her choice. 
You're talking, talking about, about like she's switching, switching genders. genders. <laughs> That's her choice. I don't want to stop her. You know, whatever makes her I'm happy. I'm not going to stop her. Yeah. If she's not, if she's not pleased with her life, you know. It's... So what made her in Constantine? Uh, she has like bone cancer or something stupid. I don't know. It's been a while since I played this. I, you know what it is? I have to go in like the log. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can. Put... No, I can't do that right now. I have to wait. She's also. I think she's played by someone. Famous. I don't know who voices her, but she sounds like uh, Tilda Swinton, whatever fuck, whatever her name is. Nobody has said anything since G things. Here, uh, database. Oh, she's not on my database yet. Ooh, not yet. Not yet. Do the security tutorials. You have Sprite? You have what? You have a Sprite? Yeah, 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 I can give you a Sprite. Jim, we'll give him a Sprite. I actually think that we need to. Uh, yeah, we need a. Soon. Yeah, we're gonna need to call it quit soon. Yeah, uh, that I works. Cause I, yeah, I would like to get some sleep tonight. Yeah. I don't have to get up early, but I just. Dave, do you want one? Nah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Loader. Oh, but this was this was fun. I'm glad you guys had a good time with this shit. Oh, well, thank you. This episode of Three Guys with a Twitch was brought to you by Sprite. Now turn the Sprite towards the camera, and the commercial's over. Mm -hmm. I love. Um, there was. Uh, it's from Game Grumps. They, if you talk about Mandela effects, they joked around about the idea of what if Pepsi came out one day and just, like, you've never heard Pepsi talk, like, say their product out loud in any of the commercials. And one of the commercials, they say it and they call it Peepsy. I was going to say Peepsy, yeah, yeah. I've heard that. And then everyone just, like, loses their shit. Hey, look, that's a good time to, uh, you know, pause it. Yeah. And, uh, save and exit. Save All and exit. right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, especially Daniel, for uh, actually replying to us. It's been fun. Yeah, that was... That was the, well, I just quit the game. Are we still live?